everybody. How you doing? Yeah, what's up? Actually, this, this camera needs to come. Besides out. hanging there out with us right now. Yeah, we had, it's been a long <laughs> day of joining. hanging. It's been a long day of uh, yeah. having fun. We did very a long comic tabling actually. Uh, first Our time first at comic ever. Store. Yeah, yeah. Comic store. Comic store table. We've yeah, been yeah. table. You've tabled a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Prefa. Prefa and also BP. You know, and but real quick, I just want to <laughs> let everybody know before getting into yes. things. If you haven't already, make sure to go to youtube.com forward slash the philosopher. It's the best place uh, to be able to see your comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Uh, that way you can see whatever it is we're doing <laughs> next. Animation. So make sure to check that on out and uh, we'll check in with you as people are coming in. So we're seeing some people come in now. Hey, hey. what's up? Jay, waiting expectantly. Welcome. Hello. What's <laughs> up? Yes. Checking on in. Hey, final Lugia. Lugia. What's up? Oh, what's up, Robert? Thanks for the super sticker. Much okay. appreciated. Much appreciated. I'm going to look at so, it. So yeah, if you uh, go to YouTube, check in with a comment, let us know you're there. And we're going to be doing um, a little bit of some uh, meat a Beef spin spinning. or meat spin because it's not spin. just beef. It's not just There's beef. That's why it is a poultry meat spin. and fish there or is. pescatano as yeah. we learned today. That means fish in <laughs> Italian. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. JWC says, I've been waiting two days for this. I'm skipping the Oilers. Wow. Game. That's a big deal. You're skipping the Oilers it's game? What is it's that? Baseball? Deal. A baseball? No. What is it? Or what am I saying? Oilers? Um, oh, it's my like gosh. I'm having that. a brain fart. Isn't that football? It's people right? who change car like, oil. So, oh, um, football? Oh. So, yeah. So, just you know, look it up. You could just look it up. Could just Google it. Ask Chat GPT. <laughs> hey, Chat GPT. Anyway. Hey, it's, yeah, it's, it's been a long day because we, we spent a number of hours long. prepping for that, bringing stuff over, doing the pictures and signings and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's been a long day and uh, we got to get a car wash too at the end of it because there's a lot of birds pooping on the car. So, you know, trees are yeah. whole ecosystems, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, when the government goes, hey, you're not allowed to cut down your own tree on your own property without a little permission slip. Right. Yeah. Hey, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Same thing. Can I cut down my own tree where all the birds are pooping on our car? I should definitely be able to cut down your own tree on your own property. It's ridiculous. And honestly, every law that exists that bans such a thing. Such an needs infringement to be on your property rights. Upended. Yeah. Like you don't really have property rights. That's right. If you can't cut down your own tree, it's like you don't even own your own property. Yeah, but... and if you pay property taxes, do you really own your home? No, you don't. Oh. You don't. So, yeah. as uh, people can see <laughs> behind us, there is this wheel of what is this meat? What is this? So behind us, this meat wheel, which as you can see, as a lovely fa spins up, <laughs> so it looks like Sherry lost That's some of her lot. meat. Oh, um, it's the wagyu. Yeah, she's gonna have to resecure the meat in much more tightly. This wheel has all kinds of meat. So uh, much meat look stuck to it. You can lightly say. peppered turkey. Yeah, turkey it, <laughs> venison. It's beef. got spicy. It's got medium. It's got mild. This it's got a mixture you. of things. This is this is definitely oh, a a beef slash meat feast. And so we decide to mix it up because sometimes we do oh. hot sauce challenges. Sometimes you would do pepper challenges. We need something that maybe would kill us less. You know, we haven't been really drinking. Um, not because I don't enjoy it. I do enjoy drinking, but for health, you know, we're thinking about the, you know. Well, not all aspects of drinking is uh, enjoyable, right? right? If you yeah. think about it, like the long-term effects, the sluggishness, long -term effects. the effects on your <laughs> liver, you know. Yeah. So just take care of some health, getting ready for some things coming up later this year. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, oh, wow, a lot more people coming. Hey, what's up, Derek? Got some meat uh, smins of our own, if you know crushed. what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so uh, we're going to be spinning this wheel of meat. And if you're wondering why, like what, what is the point of this? Uh, we're currently a funding on our end the fed music video campaign. Yeah. Which we should note actually has hit the hundred percent goal. We're actually so cool. at 102%, um, yes. which is fantastic. And not only, you know, is that amazing? We want to thank everybody for being a part yeah, of that. Thank you so much. Um, but at this point, we also want to encourage people still to come on over and actually we got uh, these limited edition yeah, coasters gonna, you know because we sold them uh coaster. when was it in 2020 is Fair that enough. when we we sold these so we uh, did taxation yeah. is theft coasters last something like that we had yeah. taxation is theft coasters and now we brought in and the fed and these are awesome coasters 
we literally use them to this day in, in terms of the you know ones we got we ordered i put more. them in the dishwasher they handle Th their dishwasher safe dishwasher you know washing the sink this non-stick backing sticks it's super cool so we want to encourage cool. people to pick these up on the campaign <laughs> even though we did hit goal and of course that helps us yeah. be able to afford more things like props slash especially special effects things because when it comes to special effects we either need a higher out, you know, outsource, or we have to get effects packs and stuff like that. So let's just buy more cool stuff. We can make the video cooler um, and and do some fun things. And where are we shooting it? In DC. Yeah. I've never been in the you know the Eye of Sauron. I like to call it the the belly of the beast. D, I mean, District of Criminals. There's many names. The the home base of the Feds. You know. So we're gonna be surrounded by Feds. Uh, <laughs> But hey, what better place to shoot the end the Fed music video <laughs> right. than in the, the eye of Then to the Federal Reserve to their face. So that is the goal. We exactly. actually are going to D.C. so that we can specifically shoot this music video uh, in part in front of the Federal Reserve. Yeah. So we, we thought that'd be fun to have an end the Fed thing right in front of the Fed. Have a little fun with it. See what we can do. Maybe we'll draw some eyes Seeing depending on what we that's do. That's what um, we're talking about ending there. Right. It's so the give, Federal Reserve. Give a very specific form and function to end the fed yes i want to um, end the feds but you know what i mean like this is specifically mm -hmm. the federal reserve if you listen to the song it's all about what happened uh and and how it was founded and the creation of all this printing of money out of thin air that's backed by nothing right um so it's it's really important that we talk about this seeing as how i mean we're, we're seeing inflation happen and we're trying our best like we are the adults i mean if Hopefully you're maybe you're watching and you're an adult. I mean, most people. Everybody's an adult. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we're here, we're alive, and it's up to us. the The torch of liberty is in our hands, and it's up to us to do what we can to wake people up, you know, and get people to understand that the root cause is not freedom. You know, the why is inflation happening? It's not because of greed. It, it's not because of price gouging. This made up term that's just people setting prices as they normally do every day for goods and services you know uh criminalizing victimless behavior like that's what we have to get people to wake up to or what we're facing is the the mass enslavement of you know more than we've ever seen before if you if you're you know i brought up chat gpt earlier but all these different uh rises in technology i mean we live literally have space age technology now and if we don't get the philosophy of to speed, you're looking at totalitarianism, a one world government. Like, and so what we really are trying to do is like wake people up. Right. And, and that's the goal. So we just really appreciate everyone who came out and supported uh, the people who came out physically today to the <laughs> comic store event. I mean, we were in there. There were different um, people coming in and out of the store because it's an actual comic store. Uh, just regular customers they have a membership there at this place um and uh this is wonder water and this is uh you know it was really cool to just be talking about like taxation is stuff we need to end the fed abolish the atf like we, <laughs> we're just in there and the owner was so cool i mean we heard about him because he was one of the uh, first comic book stores to host eric july's uh, ripperverse comic series so i mean it's just mm -hmm. cool to to meet um, especially like your local, uh, liberty minded, passionate folks. I mean, it, it's really cool to see. So it was fun to, to meet everyone there. And we're really thankful for this chance to try and, um, you know, spread the message and we're seeing success worldwide. I mean, mm -hmm. you literally have the first ANCAP unabashedly ANCAP president. I mean, El Presidente, right. uh, <laughs> um, you know, Javier Malay in Argentina. It's, and he just met with Elon Musk, yeah, which is pretty incredible. Again, not saying whether you don't have to like Elon Musk or anything like that. The point just being is him. just the fact <laughs> that Javier Malay met with but. Elon, and that was a big publicity thing. And then people are like, oh, who's this guy? It's going to cause people to then go look into Mises and Rothbard and libertarianism and voluntarism and Austrian economics. Like it's, it's just a fact, a matter of fact that the publicity is going to cause people to investigate. And even uh, was it tonight that happened? There was the the UFC uh, fight. Yeah, I don't know if the fight was tonight, yeah. but I just we saw it today. Um, Renato, uh, I don't know how to say his last yeah, name. Yeah, Renato Moicano, Moicano, and he's from Brazil. Yeah, he told people to go look up Ludwig yeah. von Mises, right? So yeah, someone can say the pronunciation in the chat. 
Um, of He's like, name, if but... you care about your effing country, <laughs> read Ludwig von Mises and the six lessons of the Austrian economic school, Mother Effers. C, C, C. <laughs> So, you but know, yeah. it's just incredible <laughs> to see this cultural permeation, right? This is something yeah. that is unprecedented. We're seeing the I've ideas. I've been an anarchist for 12 years. You've been for how long? Like Oh, uh, <laughs> at least at least 16. That's a long um, time. Libertarian, you know, big L That's before a that, teenager. <laughs> 16 yeah. years. So you really saw a big change, right? Like oh, the Overton window, you literally saw a shift. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, major, I mean, it's just, it's just unprecedented, yeah. like the, the level of, uh, you know, people engaging with these ideas. Again, you could sit there and say, oh, well, what about this or that about these people? It just doesn't matter. Like, it really, it makes little difference. The question is, is what are people investigating because of what these people are doing and saying? If they're going and investigating libertarianism, if they're investigating voluntarism, if they're investigating private solutions, free markets, you know, those types of things, then that's, an, that's a win. Like, there's no way around that. People are going to be learning about these things in droves because of people, um, you know, like Javier, like, you know, the UFC fighter who are just saying these things openly and unabashedly and causing people like, oh, okay, well, who's that? They're these are, go look these it up. are revolutionary so. and evolutionary ideas. Like everything you listed that people are going to be opening, like looking into, you know, the mm -hmm. concepts of self-ownership applied. What does that mean? You know, free markets, capitalism, Austrian economics, and then getting into like peaceful parenting, relationships, nonviolent communication, uh, self-directed learning and unschooling. I mean, you have this entire world where if you can imagine like it's a massive amount of people suddenly adopting it and it being the status quo. I mean, we're going to see like potentially uh, long lasting peace for, for generations if we can secure it. I mean, we have the technology now. Uh, to to really do that. And and I think that's what we're seeing. We're mm -hmm. seeing, you know, what we have is the decentralized revolution. You know, I mean, there are so many circles and cultures around mm -hmm. and different communities. And then there's also trading in between them all. I mean, that was kind of the original concept of like, okay, you have the 50 states of America and it's like they're, they're their own sovereign states. And then, but they trade in between and we're United. I mean, that's the idea is the concept of decentralization, basically, and, and property rights. And then if we're just saying, let's get it down to the the individual level, you know, like to the, the true owner, which is you own yourself and your body first and foremost and your property. And, and, and it's as simple as that. And everything else can be negotiated and, um, you know, consented to between a, a humans in the world there's really no need for violence and coercion and extortion um so. exactly exactly and that and that's kind of the goal here is that no matter <laughs> yeah. what with you know the work that we do and the work that we try to spread out there whether it's through music or memes or, or kids comics books. kids books, you know even <laughs> coasters. posters and stuff like that we're magnets always trying to we got uh, encourage the culture yeah magnets, whether we want them or not so, you know, there's there's always different ways to engage people and, and shift the culture. And it's just unprecedented, right? I mean, the level of, of mainstreaming of these ideas, anarcho-capitalism, voluntarism, libertarianism, it's just unprecedented. So it really is something to just uh, revel in and to realize that the more that this gets successful, just expect the psyops to get greater. Get, oh, expect yeah. the propaganda to get greater. Watch what happens in the media. They're going to they're gonna basically keep on trying to trick people into – uh, getting really triggered and caught up in like war games and stuff like that. And that's always how it works. Getting them to get right. get them into the FUD state, fear, right. uncertainty, fear and doubt. Because and the get more them, like, they, just that reactive. The those who are in political control continue to get people to react in fear, and especially when it involves like violence or like apocalyptic things, like oh my gosh, World War Three or, or it's all this stuff across the world. The more they get people wrapped up into these war games the more they lose their sense of hope, the more they lose their sense of purpose and their sense of long-term thinking because they just get And just they'll scared. be more desperate and, much and more reckless. Desperate and much more easy to manipulate. So yeah, don't exactly. get tricked. There's going to just be a barrage of, uh, you know, different types of war propaganda, people trying to get people to support Why are massive war? amounts of people being busted? You know what I mean? Like, that seems deliberate. <laughs> you know, this is not free. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, you're good. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> you know, it, it's just it's just a matter of, of of thinking through that you know when the government is acting in ways that is uh, 
you know, intentionally trying to scare people, intentionally trying to get people to give up their liberty and to be more oppressive and to create conflicts to see like, oh, see, look, this boogeyman here, this boogeyman there, you, you need to be worried about that. But just remember the governments are, are creating it. It's manufactured, right? All of it is manufactured. And the more the government gets people to live in fear and to be short-term oriented, the more they're going to win and get people to give up their liberty. So don't give in to it. Even when the government does violent things and tries to fund different sides of wars and tries to support everything. Just ignore that and focus on the goal, which is to be anti-state, which is to be principled and against state solutions to life's problems, which is to get your kids out of state schools. Don't rationalize it. Don't make excuses. Just say, hey, I'm going to think about how to do this, how to spread that word. The more that people are outside the system, the more they're actually able to be peaceable people and think of solutions. That's outside one of the of biggest things you can do is really taking care of your children, the next generation, like don't sign them up to be, you know, ha having to be obedient slaves <laughs> in the government schools, right. in state schools, like don't let them be conditioned for authoritarianism, you know, which is literally what you get conditioned to do. I mean, you have to ask for permission to go to the bathroom. You have to ask for permission to do whatever. You're not free to study what you want, read what you want. Um, talk to who you want. I mean, you have forced association and, and all that, you know, you really don't have any self-determination and you're ordered around and told to like, look at someone and different people for over eight hours. No wonder you have uh, child abuse, sexual abuse rampant in government schools. I mean, you have this sick coercive power system there. Um, so it's just don't subjugate your children to that. Like literally it's, it's, it's a form of conditioning them to be slaves, obedient slaves, uh, who just follow authority and have this concept that authority makes right, and that there's there's no such thing but power, and, and that's what matters more than ethics. Um, so don't don't send your kids there, and if they're going there, figure out a way to get them out. I mean, more than ever, take advantage of this technology. And look into self-directed learning because specifically that's what it is. You know, we're against all forms of compulsory education, just like we're against all forms of coercion. That's what compulsory schooling is. It's a form of coercion. Uh, you're, you're removing someone's uh, freedom to choose what they want to learn, what they want to um, advance their knowledge in, uh, you know, so look into that. And uh, yeah, that's why I, I was really proud that we made, you know, that book, um, you know, you wrote the book, oh. the unschooled adventures of Jack and Fa. This one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a fun one. Yeah. Good first book. We had a great time with it. Too. It was a lot of fun. Yes. Are you free to learn? I really like it. And, uh, <laughs> but it, it just, it really, I think even just that first book, it's showing the concepts right there. What does it mean, you know, to have self-directed learning? So, right. Yeah. But in the meantime, we do also want to help people understand the need to think outside of state central planning when it comes to money and currency and the like. And that's yes. why we're here for End the Fed. And so, again, we're here getting support on our music video. And so we want to spin the wheel. And in order to spin the wheel, we are going to see <laughs> we that we have spin the meat wheel, <laughs> not just any wheel, the wheel of meat. Of we're not meat. eating the bugs. So oh, we're at 42 bugs. backers right now. <laughs> So on the next one, the 43rd, we'll do our first spin of this meat wheel. Yes. And I will keep retaping. The and she apparently has to retape some of the meat. We were, we're struggling to keep our meat taped because it's not easy to, to keep meat, you know, secure on a, yeah. on a board like this, but. They're pretty big and hard. So, you know. Yes. It's, it's more it's meant for, you know, dry erase, but you know, we're, we yeah. made it work. Exactly. We made it work. <laughs> so we got mystery. Exactly. So <laughs> says, we got mystery protein. <laughs> so, and again, it's any yeah. sport. It could be um, at the, uh, I'll even go through here real quick. Let's see here. <laughs> the camera. Yeah, right. We have, uh, yeah, if you want to be in focus, okay. there you go. Uh, so we sure. have the $5 behind the scenes teaser. So that's a teaser video. Uh, the teaser video would be, you know, a little bit behind <laughs> the scenes, what we're doing over in DC. Yep. That's we awesome. have a sticker. So you get a, a sticker sent to you and uh, the behind the scenes stick uh, scene as well, or, behind the scenes video as well. So I'm getting tongue tied here. We also have our taxation theft coaster set, which as we said, ah, there we go. Um, this is a limited edition special thing for this campaign. We brought it back. They were very popular. And so we were like, all right, you know what? And they hold up. And they hold up. They're we legit. can we, attest. We personally have Many used them. washes. They're Dishwasher, awesome. hand wash, 
They're, husband wash. They're sick. I wash. We have sign set photo, so that yeah. will include the sticker and the behind the scenes. Then we have the end the Fed coaster, so you get a single end the Fed coaster um, along with the other perks. Then there's a set of four coasters, and again, it's a little bit higher price in terms of uh, you know the overall price, just because it is support supporting the music video as well, and you get the other stuff as well. Um, that's why the the taxation stuff coasters are cheaper because they're just the taxation stuff coasters, not inclusive of the other perks and things like that. So there's an art print. At 90, there's, oh, there's a popular one, the roll credit. So if you want to do a roll credit where you get the na your name in our music video, you can do roll credit. Um, and that's that's pretty cool when, you know, the ending comes out, you see your name up there. It's it's super fun to or see. Or your business, right? Or your I business, mean, you too. Have... You can do that as well. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, roll credit's awesome, especially <laughs> if you just want to keep it simple and have nothing shipped to you, nothing extra for shipping. That's just that right there. If you want the perks, though, there's a special perk there. You get the roll credit with the physical perks. That I like that thumbnail. Before. Yeah. If you chose, it looks good. The it yellow, is. The blue, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I custom that. <laughs> then there's the Great. signed art shirt. So we have a special limited edition signed art shirt. Apparently, it's very popular. There's seven of those claimed already. Oh, wow. Uh, so you get a signed That's shirt awesome. plus all the extra goodies. Um, yeah. We have one executive producer spot left. So this is the end credit executive producer spot. You would be the first in line to be shown, and you'd be exclusive there. Um, but the opening executive producer spot, that was already picked up. So you already have an opening executive producer. But we have one end credit executive producer. So... It's cool. It's it's and it's we did this fun little artwork in support of it. You know, it's kind of a retro wave theme. That's what we're going for for this video. It'll be a little retro wave. <laughs> and I then we have the song there from before. The song is retro wave. Would you say with yes. with some rap? It, it is a little it's bit like, like eighties, but a yeah. little modern twist on it. And then you right. can see on the campaign too. Um, we have some of our past music videos. So if you want to see, if you haven't seen before, you know, you're like, oh, are these like you know we potato not cam? <laughs> You know, videos, they're not potato right. cam videos. Our music videos are actually very high quality, um, shot well with great, you know, uh, color grading and effects afterward and all that good stuff. So, and we do a lot for the budget. It's actually very impressive what we can do just because we have some technological ex expertise. Uh, our videographer, he's very kind to us because he loves the message. And so he's willing to work with us at a good rate. And so we work together and make some great stuff. So definitely check out those music videos too, but, you know, if you haven't seen them, but yeah, so that's kind of a summary yep. of um, <laughs> of where we're at. And again, we are 100% funded, so you're you're good to go. You, when you back, you're supporting a music video that's definitely on, happen. as we say. <laughs> yeah. And now we're just seeing what else you can do and get in order to both get more taxation stuff closer to people's hands and get some more special effects perks yeah so go you know us, get so. get a set of coasters, taxation theft, or end the Fed or both, and uh, check out the other perks, especially if you have like a business and you want to advertise check out the different roll credits we have. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to be, you know, talking about different things while we wait to be able to spin the meat, you yeah. know, it's not bugs. Okay. It's not mystery meat. I mm -hmm. mean, we it clearly is labeled. Although we do also <laughs> spin the wheel for yeah. super chats too. So technically if you do a super chat and we did do one super chat. So how about this? Oh, let's, let's kick for, it off uh, Robert. with Robert. Cause Robert, um, actually yeah. was the first super chat. So let's do Robert. Thanks, we'll do a spin Robert. for Robert. So thank you, Robert, for your support. Robert Friel or Frau. You tell me. You tell me. <laughs> All right. You let's tell do it. Me. Okay. All right. So hold Hopefully on. Let me, the meat let doesn't me, fly off. There we go. All right. Enough. So here's our first meat spin. Yeah. You got um, chicken, thanks to turkey, Robert. beef. Okay. Thanks, Robert. All right. All right so what's going to happen? I hope it's the Wagyu. Oh. oh. It's the turkey. All right. So once you get that, hold on uh, before you pull it. Yeah. Let me see if I have a spare piece of meat because then you don't have to pull it off. You can just leave it up there. Oh. Hold on. Wait, is it is this the, the right one? Uh, lightly peppered turkey stick. Yeah. By the new primal. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. So we have some extra meat because hey, we uh, we love meat. All right. So why okay, how much do we love meat? Is? Tell me. So much. We we buy literally. pounds. Yeah. We're like at Whole Foods and like <laughs> oh, like the vegans are behind us with their tofu. Right. I don't judge. I love the market. It's amazing. You know, you got the vegans there. They're like, cool. I'm superior than you. I got veggies. And I'm like, all right, I get to enjoy my life. I got meat. You got meat. And on everyone's meat. happy. I mean, that's that's what we love. That's what it's about. We want the free market. All uh, right. So before you open it, show everybody. Yeah. I want you to bring it to the camera and show everybody oh. what this is. Explain what they're getting and what's happening here. Uh, <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I got to get it close. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So let's wow, read it out loud. So what do we got? What, what, who, who makes it? What's the brand? So it's by the new primal. New primal. Okay. So it's turkey. So it's turkey. It's turkey. turkey. Okay. Uh, it's lightly peppered 
turkey, turkey stick. stick. It's zero sugar. And you can look at those ingredients right That's there. That's a little too tight, but yeah. <laughs> look at those ingredients. Wow. Look at that. Without added hormones or antibiotics. Look at that. We're staying healthy out here. by Charleston. So not maiden, but interesting. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that, that looks good. That does look good. All right. All right, so you're going to open this up and you're going to give a review of, of this meat. So you need to tell people how good you like it. Or don't like or it. Or don't like it. Right. An yeah. honest review. An honest review of Are you going to try meat. some too? You want some? Turkey? Oh, I will try it as well. Yes, I'll put the meat in my mouth. I'll allow it. You're like, oh, I'll try it as I'll well. All right. <laughs> I'm just having fun. <laughs> Here. Is it good? My um, gosh. It's just turkey jerky. This shouldn't be that daunting. The sp I'm worried about the spicy. The spicy is actually where it could get tricky in the mouth, if you know what I mean. We got a few spices up there. That's good. Hmm. That's really good. It's medium. That's like, oh my gosh, I need some food. What do you eat? Not crackers, not chips. You don't All grab right. a soda. It's got seven grams of protein. You just get some meat. 45 calories. I mean, yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. Wow. How much protein? Yeah, I think it's, it's it's got a good flavor to it. It's very enjoyable. I can see. Yeah, it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's, it's not too tangy mm -hmm. or spicy. It's pretty overall, you know, mild. Yeah. And the casing. Huh. Mm. Yeah, it's a sausage, tight. basically. It's like a sausage. It's, it's literally tight. a sausage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Neat. Mm -hmm. All right. The new primal looks pretty cool. Yeah. It's an owl on a snake. Not bad. <laughs> I accept. I accept your meat. Well, thank you so much, Robert. Yeah. Really thank you so much, Robert, <laughs> for kicking off the spin. Um, On that note of spin. Oh, hey, Lou. We have. Uh, a 43rd Whoa! backer. Oh my gosh, they brought us to a they, someone uh, get us past this number. Unfortunately, they call me superstitious, but they also brought us to <laughs> it's a little uh 666. Six, six. <laughs> so I don't know if that was intentional. Did someone try to, <laughs> to bring the devil to this? Yeah, why you gotta <laughs> channel demons? <laughs> Channeling demons to this? No, it's all good. It was incidental, incidental. Yeah. <laughs> well, we now have 43 backers. Thank you so much wow, for your support. Wow, thank you, uh, Mystery you. I don't, Supporter. Yeah, we're not checking who it is. If they, if you want to say who you are and what you got in the chat, please feel free to. We will not to, dox you. But we don't dox people. All right. So we that means that, <clears throat> that is another spin whoa, of the meat Whoa, another. Whoa, Robert. And we have so some more. So many. Um, Meat yeah, spins. We have more meat spins. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, <laughs> like super stickers. But... Don't, don't Google meat spin. Don't do that. That's not a good idea. Anyway, I just <laughs> why would you? No, that's don't called like the reverse. You're not supposed to say it. No, like seriously, don't. Beef spin is okay. I think I haven't even googled beef spin. I didn't check it. So rule thirty one. Rule thirty one plus three. You mean <laughs> rule thirty four? Okay. All <laughs> right. Spin this wheel. All before right. Let me we spin get in any that more wheel. Because this is Florida. And we spin wheels <laughs> of right. meat. <laughs> and we're tan. Anyway, it's so true. Everyone who moves to Florida, I'm like, oh, you got tan in like two months? Anyway. Immediately. Just get don't tan. get skin cancer. It's a real thing. Oh, oh look my at that. gosh. Venison. We got the venison. Oh, I took it off. Do you have uh, it? Uh, hold on. Let me check. I might have it in my meat repository. <laughs> let me see. Everyone needs a meat repository. <laughs> Everyone. Right? Needs a meat repository. You need to keep that meat yes. on lock. <laughs> All right. Here's your you meat can... on lock. <laughs> oh, wow. So is venison deer? Um, Yes. Like you, my dear? Nah, animals, right? It's okay. Bambi. It's, it's the best. Bambi. The best. Well, Wait probably, you're, 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 you're always so quick. Hold on. You're always so oh. quick to get to the meat. Like, you, <laughs> she just, like, once she sees meat, she just has to go for it. She's like, I need to get. So we need to. Is slow that really it, what I'm like? Slow it down. I played the fifth. Slow it down. <laughs> you got to show off the oh, meat. Yeah. You got to well, show it's people. So epic. Well, yes. So go ahead. Bring that meat close so that people can see what. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. I own myself. <laughs> okay. What? All right. So okay, it's, it's epic. epic. Brand. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. you've seen this. They make yes. other stuff okay. too. Okay. So 100% grass and venison. Venison is deer, like sea Bambi. Salt, if you're a millennial, uh, okay. or you've seen Disney. Okay. 
F- focus on your meat. How do I- you must How do focus I meet the meat without you. There you go. Oh, I got there you. it is. All right. Oh, yep. Eight grams of protein. There we go. I Listen. believe you can meet oh, okay. without is this, me, is but I don't keto? want you to meet without me. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Look at the ingredients keto? list. It's so small, right? Venison. Whoa, this is beef, even smaller than the turkey. Sea salt, black pepper, onion, wow. powder, garlic bite. So that's very good. That's some simple ingredients. I love this brand. Epic. Oh, we literally have their um, if I'm not mistaken, maybe I am. No, it yeah, it's Epic Bar on 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 Instagram. They oh, literally yeah? make our tallow. The beef oh, tallow. yeah, you know, yeah, they make the beef tallow. I should fact yeah, check. Beef tallow is great to get. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? I just want to no. make sure I didn't just put Fake People news are, out there. Like, we can Google that. We can Google that. Just don't Google me. But you can here. Google beef tallow. Beef ta- get do some. Google beef tallow. Get some. Beef tallow. Or chicken tallow yes. if you're so inclined. Or duck chicken tallow. tallow. Okay. Yes. But just don't use canola don't or use veggie canola. or, or rapeseed yeah. oil. I mean, why would you get rapeseed? It's literally called yeah. rapeseed. Yeah, we don't need know? that. All right, we're, we want consent. All right, so I showed enough. All right, you showed enough meat. Now you can open and taste I it. I looked at it enough. Yes. <laughs> the point of the beef spin is not just to spin the I beef. I honored it enough. But to honor the beef. <laughs> honor the beef. You must honor the beef before you ingest the beef. Oh, is that right? Yes. Yes, yes. All right, someone get us past 56666. Six, six, six. <laughs> well, first you got to get past that venison stick. Oh, wow. Sea salt and pepper, ground and formed meat strip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Huh. Oh. Well, that, that comes off neatly. So good. All right, I'm in. Dude, Listen. they make really good beef tallow. Mm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This tastes a little different. That's really good. A venison? There's no casing on it. They just, like, pounded it and formed it. It's not overly gamey, but it definitely has that little bit of, like, deer. you know, that deer gamey. Huh. You would say gamey? Gamey. Yeah, you know, they would say that in these like it was like Alton Brown on yeah. his cooking show. It's a little drier than I was expecting. Uh-huh. I guess maybe that's because of it's so simple ingredients. Or who's the guy with the that's hair? A little bit drier. Like hmm? uh, with the, the spiky hair on the he does the cooking shows and he's like has Oh guy for area or yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He always says like, Oh, it's so gamey. Yeah. Like well, mm-hmm. Anthony Bourdain, same thing. But like if you strip your deer and gamey? you don't cut off the you know the old Kahuna's first. You will have extra gaming meat. Really? You got to take off that junk when you, yeah, when you end the life of your deer and you string them up. You got to get rid of that, that extra stuff. Otherwise, it will get gaming, or extra gaming. I feel horrible. Yeah, I feel horrible when you remind me of it's the process. Dry. It's still dry. I don't know. I'm, it's, it's okay. I'm, I don't know if I jump to that, but it is peppery. And if if you're into deer, I can it's see it's not like a that. sausage. It is a meat stick, though. It's a meat stick. It holds up. Yeah, it holds up. It's really good. Oh, and Derek says here it's sign set. Thank you so much, oh, Derek. I thank appreciate you so it. much. Y'all owe me yes, yes, please. Well, she can do that. You can, you can do that. I, I mean, I could. All right, you do it, and no, then I'll do, do it. it. Like you? Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> you have the authentic. I just sound like I'm posing. Yes, please. Man, that really gets in there. You know why Ooh. I would say that? Because I just like want liberty so bad, and I'm like, yes, please. You mm. know. Wow. Plus, I'm Chinese and Vietnamese. But you Chinese and you Vietnamese? Yeah. That's true. There's I mean, actually Japanese people that don't know how to say. People think um, you're Japanese very often. L. Yeah, they think I'm Japanese or Korean. Japanese. Yeah. Maybe it's when you're them. Chinese and Vietnamese, you just become looking like, I guess, Japanese and Korean. I don't know. I don't know either, but you know, it's it's okay. You can pass at least your Weebanese, so that's that's close enough. All right. So true. still a wee boo. We do have to mention <laughs> a few things because in that time that we tasted that gamey meat, we had Gaby Robert meat. Friel come in. So we got a spin Whoa, for him. Thanks again. We got Geo. Oh, Friel. And thanks. I think this it might be just the Geo right. we, you, we met today. Oh, did we meet you today, Geo? I think like this is that, that Geo? Geo. Look, he's just G. I know, right? <laughs> And on top of that, we have this. Whoa, uh, ley lines. Ley lines. So, oh, wow. This is so cool. Can I read it? Yes, please do. Okay. Hail the volunteer squad. We just dropped an ANCAP al- anthem called Feel Free with the music video on our channel. It is very similar to Air July's band backwards. It would mean a lot if you check it out. Hail the Iron Age. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. 
Well, thank you so much for this age. generous uh, support. That's, I mean, that's super cool. We love seeing people who are doing, you know, music, especially liberty oriented music, because, you know, for the longest time, there was very little of that. It was, it was mostly just guys strumming guitars, maybe a little girl singing here and there. Now it's crazy. Like, you know, you have so many different people who are high level production, you know, we're talking multiple instruments, good mastering and stuff like that making liberty oriented music on different spectrums right you know subtle to like outright think of stuff. like tom mcdonald like we do tom mcdonald's a, a little bit mind. right right and well it's right, he's literally um, leaning he's not you know um, and cap oh gosh what's the season who had, the, who had spike on shirt? high res no 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 not high oh oh um the, the real young swag real young swag yeah, yeah. right he's doing good stuff like, too backwards and off <laughs> yeah. um so this is fantastic and i yeah. would say ley lines if you have not already uh make sure to check out libertarians who make art um so that's a uh, a little publication that showcases different artists and stuff like that. People who you know doing stuff in Liberty, and I'm sure they would love to have you and do a little feature piece for you and said it's their their listserv, you know, with your music and stuff like that. You should definitely do that. So that's that's super cool. I would love to check that out. So it's called Feel Free. Thanks so much. Awesome. Yeah. That's and if it's similar to Eric July's band Backwards, then we're expecting it to be something in the you know metalcore genre. That's how I take it as. So that's cool. Is that what a uh, like. Lincoln er Park was metalcore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because Eric July is it's technically like rap and he's rock. not a rapper. He's actually metalcore. Right. A lot of people think, oh, Eric July is a rapper. It's like hey, he's actually not a rapper. He, he's, he's he can metalcore. rap. Like he, he did freestyle rap. raps too. Right. He of. could easily rap, but his right. actual main music that he does backwards is backwards is that band is yeah, yeah, metalcore. metalcore. So yeah. a lot of people, you know, think <laughs> otherwise, but we know. We know. Especially you. Yes, yeah, especially. So <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's well, awesome. Thanks so much, Ley Lines, and uh, congratulations. Yeah, that's so yeah. cool. And ANCAP anthem. Yeah, definitely. That's and awesome. anybody here who's definitely looking for more Liberty Oriented look Music, give it a check out. You know, we haven't heard it ourselves. We can't say if it's good yet. I'm sure it is probably good. I mean, we, we can check it out later. So that's you can fantastic. always not watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, right. check it out. That so cool. let's go through Thank these so and <laughs> let's uh, do the spins because we're, we're owing people some spins. So, Robert, okay. is it up first with first it's spin? It's real. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Robert Friel. Okay, let me. Oh, I dropped another meat. What do you mean you dropped another meat? It's the same one. It oh, just well, won't get hold. Your, get your meat back on there. Yeah, you're right. All right. She's going to resecure the meat. Oh, and she doesn't lose any body parts in the meantime. Yeah. And while oh, she's. The wag you. <laughs> and while she resecures her meat to the board, <laughs> we're going to check in on the. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you got it? Yeah. It's going to be safe. Okay, here we go. Here's the spin. Yeah. Oh, please be the Wagyu. Oh, oh so yes. It's the, the, spicy. the spicy. That's piece. what I wanted, actually. So that's hot. Oh, that's what you wanted. Well, because we like this spice. one, I think, is actually where, you know, we, we have done some spicy challenges, but this is one where yeah. it should be a little bit of heat in the mouth, if you know what I mean. All right. So you, you, gotta, you, you show no, it you off. Got, no, you got to show it off. No, you, you. No, you show it off. No. No, you show it off. <laughs> so this is the same like company the new primal and it's beef not turkey and it's spicy okay you know? it's got zero sugar six grams of protein the ingredients right? are pretty good i right. mean it's not like five ingredients right a little bit more ingredients but, but still you recognize those names grass-fed right. beef it's not like lemon peel genetically modified <laughs> something or other you know yeah bioengineered ground up roach right oh, god yeah, bioengineered meat. We butter. will not eat the backs. <laughs> this is a testament. You know, look at the Break the Great Reset music video. <laughs> Watch me try to take down some guy dressed up as Klaus Schwab. He's a great actor. <laughs> or a young Klaus best. Schwab. Yeah, not like. Yeah. All right. So now that we presented the meat and honored it, um, you can now take it. You may now take <laughs> the meat that you've honored. You may now. I don't know why I default to meats. some 19th century or Renaissance accent. Well, we didn't talk about Ren Fair today. Was a, yeah. Someone who did uh, Taekwondo or something. Yeah. I don't know. Those All right. So spice. we got to know, is this actually as spicy as they're making? Because they say it's spicy, but is it spicy? Or are they just hyping it up? Hmm. We are definitely good judges of spicy because as you've seen us, we have had spicy beyond belief. True. Oh, this is wet. Just like before. No, it's not that spicy. Hmm. It's good, though. It's really good. I, I would get this. Yeah. <laughs> That's not spicy. I mean, it, there is spice, and you can taste it at the end, but it lingers on your tongue. 
but it's nothing intimidating. Now, if you give this to like, you know, someone who's like really afraid of spice, like Roger Stone, <laughs> right? If you give it to <laughs> someone who's really afraid of spice, this is gonna this is gonna definitely hurt them. I mean, I mean, are you some feeling? people think black pepper is spicy? Oh uh, yeah, if you think They're black like, pepper is spicy, black pepper is so spicy. This is gonna <sighs> ruin your day. And I'm like, what? But is this that, is not Thai hot. You know, is it not leaving a little bit of spice in your tongue? A little bit. Like mine, I feel a little bit of layer of spice. I don't know if it's had a bigger bite. It's not like Thai hot, you know. It's, no, it's no. not a habanero pepper where you're like sweating. You're like, oh, it's a satisfying yeah. spice where you don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm like gonna puke or oh, this is like yeah. make me cry or something like that. It's just like, oh, that's nice. It's like there. It's not. Would that's recommend. A good one. Would recommend. Yeah. Try that. It's not dry. It's nice and wet. It, it's it comes in smooth. <laughs> it's nice and wet. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, you need it's to got go that down. Satisfying crunch. Right, you don't want it dry. Yeah, yeah. I think the like, epic you know, was a little the dry. Epic was a little dry. You need to drink it with some water. Yeah. Or yeah, eat it with yeah. some water. But or some yeah. deer pee. All right. Nope. Now we're getting to <laughs> nope. Geo's. Geo's super oh, thick. Geo, Geo was super cool. Oh. I love that he came in with the um he had the anti state, -state shirt. Like yeah, when I saw that, I was like tailored. that's cool. I was like, wait, we don't make muscle tanks. <laughs> no. He like custom tailored he and took it. off and it was the sleeves. Too. It, was, it was like, you know, yeah, he took it to a tailor. Yeah, it was legit. I was like, that's actually sick. It makes it look good. All right, let's spin this meat. It was from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, the Wagyu. There you go. Great. Okay. Just what I was I just hope it's not dry. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Well, it's made by the Epic Bar, so it might be dry. Oh, here you go. <laughs> oh, cool. Thing. All right, show off. All right. So, what do you got? It's so, it's epic. another Epic. Look, it's a Wagyu. Wagyu. Thanks. It's going. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this struggle is so real. Okay. All right. So this is cool. It's got six grams of protein, three grams total carbs. It's ground and bone. And is this another low ingredient? Yes. Yeah. So, beef, honey, sea salt, black pepper, garlic powder. Wow, like that's that amazing. Honey? Yeah. I just hope it's not dry, but I'm I'm not holding my breath on that one. Right. Oh, cool. All right. So I wonder if this is as refined as the title. Is it really? Worthy of well, it's not gonna be like I know. a wagyu steak. <laughs> it's not gonna be a wagyu steak, but oh nope. Well, would oh. you mind opening? I shall open your your meat with your tender hands. <laughs> this is a little greasy, actually. Oh uh, yeah. Actually, this is promising. It is more greasy. Whoa. Oh, we just lost another meat, but it's okay. It's the same this one, actually, look at this. It it literally is so greasy, you can almost see it <laughs> kind of like come up on its own, right? Oh, it's, it looks so good. Right? This is actually promising. Okay. The other one, the venison is a bit dry. This Ma looks like meat uh, sticks that we would have as a kid. Like, we go to mm. Chinatown and we mm. pick up like barbecued meat. What was it? And like, it cat looks or? like this. No. No. This, we, we were in America. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> you weren't in China. Oh, okay. That's so what just communists a... <laughs> do because they're hungry. Communists okay? have to... <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Not even in Hong Kong. No. <laughs> Depends. If you Wuhan. Oh, it looks like it's tender. Oh, that broke off kind of smooth. Oh, wow. Oh, really? That is so good. It's good. Okay. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Man, I like face. that venison. Mm -mm. <laughs> This is smooth. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Don't give up your meat, everybody. Okay, Epic. You did this one right. You need meat. We're omnivores. Hmm. Someone's like, you don't need you need know. meat. And I'm okay. like, we're wow. omnivores. What are you talking about? Okay, so that one <laughs> is way wetter. It's got like kind of that like kind of gloss on it. Mm -hmm. and you can see just let's look at this glisten. Let's just look at this glisten. Look at that. Look at that glisten. Is that glisten? Here, cover your face. Look at yeah. Look at your camera. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See how it kind of glistens in the light? That shows you how wet it is and moist. Oh my gosh. It is, it really is much smoother <laughs> than the venison. It it kind of comes apart neatly in your mouth. It just kind of turned into an ASMR. Yeah, ASMR <laughs> meat spin. So <laughs> it, this is definitely a step up from that venison. It, it's a lot um this wagyu beef is it, so it good. It breaks apart smoothly. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So good. yeah, that's that's the way I'd go. I would not go the venison. I don't want to put it down. Well, you're going to have to because we have more meat to spin. Mm. Oh, True. All right. 
another successful meat spin. We do got to replace that spot. Um, oh, it's right there. Oh, what is? It? Oh, it's. I it's just okay. need to replace the Here. tape. Oh. No, but I like the wagyu. Eh, well, you know, it's there's no guarantee when you spin that wheel what happens. All right. So. <laughs> Don't drop the meat. I didn't want to get it. <laughs> so I chose to bend down. Oh, that's good. That's good. That is all right. Well, thanks, Gio, for your support. That was a good spin. Yeah, thank you. And All now right. we're back to ley lines on the ley big lines. city. So we got a spin for you. I and know, a big just... uh, big shout out to you. Congratulations on your uh, song, your ANCAP anthem. That's awesome to see. Yeah, I wonder what it's like. Yeah, I, I'm, we're going to be checking that out after Do for sure. Do you have a picture of Spike <laughs> on your, your shirt? That'd be like fun. Like the real young swag. Like the real young swag. Okay. I appreciate that 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 shout out since we have the the original ANCAP grind. There we go. You know how that goes. All right. All right. So hold on. Let me uh, get in focus. All right. Oh, you can see the wagyu. Let's spin that meat. <laughs> and the salmon. Okay. Well. All right. Give it a nice hard spin. Okay. Worthy of the meat. One, two, three. Ancap. <laughs> oh, oh, you got it again. Get what? Again. Did you mean that? You're sneaky. It's rigged. It's now rigged. that I've had a taste of the wagon. Yeah, now you're like, I'm gonna calculate exactly. We're getting one to spin meat it. the whole rest -uh. of the. I'm about to spin life. it next. We'll see. What, we'll see where that meat heads. <laughs> yeah. I might allow that once. We'll see. Thank you, Leyline. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Yeah. You can. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just. It just is. It's juicy. It just kind of, you know, mm, mm. It's like the meats I knew as a kid. The barbecued meats. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That's a good product. Mm. Nate's epic. Wow. That was um, That's some epic beef. Smooth. <laughs> so smooth. Hey, I like this right here. We love <laughs> beef jerky so dope. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, the wheel of beef was a great idea that, that sprung to me in the midst of uh, shopping. <laughs> I was like, hey, you know what? We can we have a wheel. We can get beef, and we can spin it. That was such a good idea. And voila! I was like, we love spinning things. I guess, <laughs> and we love meat. Perfect. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Yeah, it's the same one. The same <clears throat> meat keeps falling off, you know? Okay. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> sorry. I'll just uh, um, Hey, we're sorry. past the 666. Yeah, Thanks, I got whoever. a little bit of meat in my mouth. Okay. Oh, no. You okay? <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to be all right. So we got another backer on the campaign. So thank you so much for whoever did that. I, I don't know if we missed it in, in our <clears throat> in our list thing. But you, we got... Um, you okay? Yeah, I'm going to make it. Need water. Uh, probably eventually need water. Uh, but right. we do have another meat spin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and Gio said confirmed. Yes, that's me. Rap and metalcore. Hey, Gio. Rap, that's rap so metalcore. cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yummy is pretty spicy. Oh, your meat keeps it just, falling. It's just comedically falling off. The same <laughs> meat. The same meat's going awry. All right. Uh, the wheel of meat fortune. <laughs> the wheel of meat. <laughs> make a. Yeah. They want to make a video for that. Yeah, the and cat. That's a good one. Right. Maybe one day. I'll give All right, it, so uh, give this a nice firm spin for our okay. campaign back, and the uh, let's zoom in. All right. Okay, I hope it's the salmon. Please be the salmon. Oh, oh. we got a new one. Oh. You're, you keep losing your meat. I'm not sure if I have I mean, this it, one in the beef bin. Let it me it doesn't look as bad because it's the same piece of meat, so it's not my fault. Every other one has stayed on. You know, well, you got to handle your meat better. All right, this one you're going to actually have to – oh, wait. Is there one over there? That oh, is it. This one? I think I think that's the one. Uh, jalapeno. Yeah, okay. Oh. We'll put that one up. I wonder if this will be spicier than this one. I don't know. I think, than this it says one. medium. So. All right, let's show everybody the meat. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. I get the <laughs> Just get it. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. <laughs> All right, so you peel there, and it's a jalapeno meat stick, and it says medium, and it's from Chomps. And it's grass-fed and finished beef. Does that say used? All right. What do you mean used? Like, not new? 
I will hold it for you. So that's... Yeah, please do. Come. Please Come get do. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Yay, thanks. So here we Used. go. Jalapeno beef stick. Medium, grass-fed, and finished beef. Wait, did that say used? I know. Oh, it's used as in it was u it used that, but it's not used beef. If it was oh, beef, that'd be pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. Nine Taking grams of protein, of nine cal 90 calories per serving. Zero sugar. Okay. All right. Looks great. It's not bugs. It's not bugs. Right? There's no yeah. bugs inside. Don't worry about your meat. We're, that's just going to stay there. All right. In the meantime, we're going to find out how spicy this is. Okay. Um, let's see. How's it taste? Good. <laughs> is it good? Okay. Let's find out. Another smooth piece of meat that comes out very easily. Yeah. Hmm. It's not spicy, though. The other, well, it is a little. And there's like bits of jalapeno. Hmm. This has great, robust flavor. This is very flavorful. I just like how it tastes. It tastes good. It's not. Yeah. It doesn't have a spicy lingering like the spicy one does. Right. The other one, actually jalapeno. Is more spicy. It's not really spicy at all. I'd say. Yeah, and I guess that's why it says spicy. Spicy. <laughs> this is a good one. Yeah. Like this, and you taste the jalapeno after, especially. Mm -hmm. Like it lingers a little bit, and you almost like taste the jalapeno after. Effect. True. Mm -hmm. But it's good. It's like yeah. uh, like a chef's kiss. Oh. <laughs> Mwah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. Let's replace it with the salmon. <laughs> let's put a salmon. All right, you want to put a salmon up? All right, yeah. Plus, that means done the salmon. An unwrapped wagyu later, but whatever. All right, here you go. Save the wagyu. Matt's here. Look at that. Muddy Water Media. Oh Damn. wow! Hey, Muddy Waters. <laughs> <laughs> I like your comment. We he is. Today. He is. I'm allowed to say that, right? He is what? Matt. What he said. Oh, no, yeah, definitely, definitely. You are a sexy mofo. That is so mm. true. I mean, uh, I guess that's the, <laughs> you know, but you, ha you know, you're not just, you know, looks or anything. Uh, you're just. All I am is, is, <laughs> is just a face. I like your brains, too. Like to you know, your mind. I, I really love your mind. I appreciate it. That's I'll what I it. fell in love with. And the looks, just the cherry on top. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like the whole cake. But... All right, we have secured the meat, and while you secured the meat, yeah. we got another backer, or not backer, a uh, uh, oh, super a sticker. sticker. Wow! So thank you, Lee Bell. Thank Thanks, you so much Lee for your support. Bell. You're so appreciated. Whoa! So cool. <laughs> well, you know what that means. Meat you get spin. another spin at the meat. Beef spin. And sam <laughs> salmon and wagyu and veal. <laughs> All right. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I hope it's the salmon. Oh! oh, oh, you, oh, oh you called it? Oh, we called that. Wow. Called that. But I, it's not rigged, I swear. I don't have a button that stops it. I swear. It says maple strip. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Because this, oh. yeah. No, you're Do good. you have an extra? No. Uh, no, I think, I, think, I think all the salmon's on the board. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. We got a new. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We got a new one. All right. So here you. you you're so good at presenting. I'm good at presenting. Okay. Yeah. You so know take a look. Take works. a look. I don't know about <laughs> camera. I just sit. Back. All right. <laughs> look at this epic. Yeah. Smoked. Salmon, or salmon wow. smoked? I guess. Yeah, it is salmon. <laughs> like, why wait, why is saying, everything sorry. right to left? Are we in Japan? <laughs> Are we in China? China. China. Okay. okay, I'm going to get this into focus. All right, there we go. So maple strip, okay. Uh, we got seven grams of protein, five grams total carbs. Uh, wow. a, another short ingredient list, but there's more oily stuff here. True. Because it says maple sugar, besides this, obviously salmon, mm -hmm. organic coconut oil, sea salt, bad, salt, though. onion powder, garlic powder. It's not like canola oil. No. At least. And dill weed. Oh my gosh, it's got <laughs> dill weed. All right. Wow, I love dill pickles. Isn't that what dill weed is? I don't know. Is is that what dill weed is? I don't. What is dill weed again? I can't. I guess remember. why wouldn't you just call it dill? Why? What is dill weed? 
wonder right? if that's a safe way. That is a good question. The oh, answer oh, is just a search engine away. That is very true. Okay, this is do actually you, uh, getting tricky. Do you use pre-search? You should use pre-search. Pre-search is sure. great. Um, this is actually just ripped off. If you look here, it looks oh. like it's very vacuum sealed, like kind of actually more intensely than the others. It is. We might oh. need to get a scissor. And... Okay, well, I'll get water on that. No, yeah, okay. it's pretty. All right, she's going to go right. unwrap this meat. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, in the meantime, I will um, take a look at uh, what's going on here on the campaign, a few other things. So just reminding everybody who just came in, because we do have quite a few people watching, and I think it's like, well, 218. That's cool. Um, so we have our music video campaign, which again, we've hit 100% of goal. And right now we're uh, upping that support intentionally because we want to actually have more opportunities for special effects and other things that we can add in because that covers us on a basis. But anything else extra really helps out. And of course, as we showed off before, we have our taxation theft coasters that we brought back, which we love and we use all the time. They hold up so nicely. And we have our end the Fed coasters on this campaign. So these are limited items. We don't, you know, frequently uh, put them out there. We don't, we don't mass manufacture them all the time. So get it while you can, because once they're gone, they're gone and, and that's it. So, and these are actually uh, super affordable in the campaign because it's just this alone who's kind of done as an extra special thing. So make sure to check that on out. Oh, she's coming back here with some water. I'll try to see what I can get to in comments uh, before she goes back. Matt says, I love World War III is on the custom. We're watching you guys spin a wheel of beef. That's right. Well, World War III, it, it's funny because like World War III is, is kind of funny to me because like the idea of it being ah, on the cusp, I just laugh at because the, the truth is that, you know, and people don't really yeah. know, understand this, is that um, the things that people consider World War III and war are actually going on all the time. Yeah, they've the been world. going on. People don't know. If you're a millennial, you're the generation <laughs> yeah. of world war we just came through the war right. on terror which was 20 years of the u.s government vietnam destroying millions yeah. all this other stuff vietnam also war Korea. and warfare yeah. and whether it's open or clandestine or coups or all the time so a lot of times when you see stuff like that a lot of it is is really and truly just fear propaganda to get people wrapped up in it and then to you know pick a side be like yeah i gotta support this or that and the truth is is that the second that people just take a step back from all the propaganda and say hey this is stupid we're not supporting you and you change the culture and you change minds, you withdraw from it, then there's not much they can do, right? Because at the end of the day, um, you know, they're, the only thing they can do, right, at the, at the end of the day is just try to print more money and do more bad things by sending missiles and, and doing stuff around the world, right? But if you get people to not consent to that by withdrawing their support and refusing to join the military and refusing to participate in the system and changing minds in the culture, eventually you get to a point where the, the psychological operations don't have the same effect anymore and you start getting meaningful resistance to it. And eventually you get to the point where you get crazy things like Javier Malay coming in into, uh, into vision. So don't, don't lose sight. Arresting that, central bankers. Right. right. That, that a lot of the propaganda and all this other stuff is used to try to put people into fight or flight. So they get their Liberty in, in, in these times and make them lose a sense that like the, the conflicts, all this stuff is going on. We, literally we just went through time. that with the lockdowns. I mean, yeah. like some people, it's like they became the NPCs they made fun of by latching on to mm. the current thing, the That's current good. news cycle, uh, the, the chocolate milk. That chocolate, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's what it boils yeah. down to every single time anyway, right? And forgetting that, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. you were just locked down by these same governments and you're over here saying, let's give them more power. Let's increase the surveillance state. Yeah. Let's have show me your papers even more. We got to more Pfizer now. Oh, see, if, uh, if you don't, the Russians are Right, let, let's yeah. incentivize <laughs> more government spending yeah. instead of ending taxation, freeing the market, ending mm -hmm. the Federal Reserve. Like our music video over here <laughs> which i guess is still at uh 44 backers which is awesome mm -hmm. that's really cool yeah and so, thanks for getting mm -hmm. us past that five thousand six six, 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 six mark six. that was that was uncomfortable you know though. right right <laughs> so yeah it, it's just it's yeah. um it, again just never forget that in all of human history there have been many different types of world wars and conflicts and stuff like that even world one world two not so many people killed it's it's really you know immeasurable when you think on a, on a human scale to actually be able to internalize it. It's just like, you can't even empathize with a hundred million people dead. It's just beyond your calculation, you know, thinking through it all, but it's horrendous. Yeah. 
throughout that time, there are people, still people living their lives like normal around the world. That's just how it goes, right? So outside of anything less than literal, total nuclear a annihilation. Lot of fleeing. A lot of fleeing throughout right. history. It, it's, it's, it's just the same old, same old. And yeah. the only thing that stops that is literally changing minds for liberty and being principled. And that's why we're seeing, you know, as the message of liberty rises up, Mm -hmm. um and has gone so global and we've we talked about this over the years the more it goes yeah. up and it's successful the more the psyops are put on a people and the, the government tries to stop it just like in 2019 there was riots all over the world against yeah, governments had, remember that everyone focused hong kong, on the ccp with fighting hong kong, back and see, right yeah. how people the ccp forgot. was taking over hong kong and they were protesting in mass like three million people that's like almost half the city the <laughs> population that's there that's incredible and yet it, uh, they yeah. they came in and they took over the elections. They installed their their puppet politicians for the CCP and mm -hmm. yeah, and they jailed so many freedom activists and protesters. And uh, they painted them as just violent. And you you're like, mm -hmm. you think the status in America are bad? I mean, the status in China are you know pretty bad too. They're literally okay with like genocide. I mean, you have concentration camps. They, they're not re-education. It's literally people just enforce labor and it's horrible conditions. Um, yeah, well, so, I mean, and it even, uh, you know, more so than that, it's just And you that, had like, a huge distraction. <clears throat> you can have that for different groups of people, right? Like yeah. for the tyranny that people in India face, it's like a billion people, well, billion and a half now um, and growing, you know, they have their unique situation. The people in China, billion and a half declining you know, have their unique tyranny situations. Mm -hmm. They're like, they're people who have just whole different existences from what we have here over in Western you know, Europe to America and other stuff like that. And what's going on in South America and Latin America, all that stuff. So there are whole different realities taking place for different people all around the world. So it's just a good reminder to not lose sight of that fact and to stay focused on the, on the goal, which is to have a global worldwide revolution an intellectual ethical revolution for Liberty uh, through ethical thinking, thinking outside the state. And the more that we stay focused on that and don't get uh, distracted by any of these types of propaganda uh, campaigns and psyops, and the more that we keep people focused and principled on that, the less they have an effect, right? The media cycle is a programming cycle. We've made many videos about that. Just Operation opting Mopping out Murder, and building, building your today. family, building your wealth, uh, right. growing, you know, building your assets, your property, um, <laughs> investing and in, in keeping your savings, your your long term savings in like gold, silver, Bitcoin, uh, Monero, you know, diversifying. Yeah, right. Diversifying. Yeah. It's, it's just a matter getting of getting out of being fiat, resilient. which is continues to inflate. I mean, they keep printing more and more money, and they're sending billions to fund more wars and and right. more violence in your name. Uh, actually, both home and abroad, in both places. Mm -hmm. You know, you have wars on Americans here with uh, gun control, um, drug control, whatever, you know, war on whatever, war on terror. These are just wars on Americans. It's really what they are. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's really why we want to end the Fed. I mean, ending the Fed, the Federal Reserve System would be huge uh, to, to not, you know, um, it, to, you know, actually have your currency backed <laughs> by something you know, right. what, what it's intended to be. Yeah. And, th and that's exactly it. Representations that, that regardless of, of what's happening with yeah. the government and the theft and manipulation, you have what's in your control. You have your ability to be resilient for yourself, to be prepping, you know, that, that type of thing. Um, not like you have to be a total, you know, survivalist prepper or go live off grid, but just, you know, you take care of the things that, you know, make sense within your abilities and you, you just are mindful of what's going on, you know, generally, you know, with, with the world and the government, but not allowing that to turn your psychology into a fear based reactive psychology where you're, you know, short terming um, your actions and supporting more government control and more theft. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you don't have to. You, it's it's just psychological, right? Like you existing now, you know, most people have no bearing directly on the government's, their, you know, actions like the the nitty gritty day to day things, right? You know, you as an individual, right? What you control is totally separate from that. So you don't have to worry about it. It's like, okay, the government, people are going to do whatever. It's up to you to take care of yourself, to educate others about the principles of liberty and help. Yeah. Like when you that. vote that you're not doing any thing tangibly when you vote and just say, Oh, I want this president. You're not actually like technically affecting that change. You know, 
The, it's not a person uh, like the, well, it depends on. I mean, it's what not we're direct. talking about exactly, it's not but direct. but more specifically, it's just that the the um the idea of oh, voting is what fixes everything is, is yeah, not where it gets you. You know, I mean. voting doesn't change minds in and of itself. Voting doesn't um you know build your resiliency or or help you uh you know get your kids necessarily out of school right away that kind of thing. Um, right. So it, it's it's you know that in the cultural sense is an afterthought what's what bro what builds the 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 groundswell that changes things otherwise how you get to a javier malay is the ethics and economics education so you know that that's why yeah, you know definitely. we're so passionate and do so many different things to you know reach out in the culture wake people up and then get them down the path of of learning austrian economics and voluntary ethics so yeah i mean it was the concepts of disobeying and saying i did not consent we we pushed for that as a you know culturally mm -hmm. along with other content creators right and really pushed for that to say hey you know you own yourself you didn't consent to these lockdowns uh to these mass mandates vaccine mandates like you know you can disobey and just getting people to understand mm -hmm. that that's something you can do now is, right it's very empowering and to just realize like oh i can disobey mm -hmm. and it may not be everything right you also have to it's your own risk calculation too, which everyone does. Just like you have the right to bear arms, but it's your own risk calculation whether you, you know, actually learn gun safety and learn how to like learn the rules of gun safety, learn how to control it um, and, and understand how it works, you know, but you can do that and, and you should have the freedom to. So. Exactly. Yeah. And there's just little things you can do and increment in your own life, in your own community, in your own ways. And, and basically we just, we have the, the positive <laughs> message because as yeah. you see out there, there's so many people and all they do is, you know, fear monger and clickbait monger all day. And they have so many manipulative headlines all day. And we point this out all the time, showing how people are manipulated by headlines. And they're just and so focused on like about petty everything. things like, oh, this yeah. person's ugly or whatever. It's like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like it's it's just so it's just so silly so <laughs> right. you just know you don't have it's to objective. let that preoccupy yeah. your life and your mind and your time you can choose to have the more positive you know creative side of things like the statism is destructive they want you to be suffering and to be dying out and for your kids to be enslaved and for you to be you know off in whatever way that you know they can do war you know just like shot. literally back of the head so shoot you just like line right. you up against the wall like, so remember that, that level exactly right that that the goal to not let those in the state power win is to have that positivity that creativity and that building culture when they are trying to promote a self-destructive culture they want people to feel hopeless depressed and ultimately to end their own lives we've even seen sadly some people do that um, unfortunately, we've we've seen some people who we've you know been acquaintances with and and the like who have ended their own lives, and it's it's horrible. It's you know so it's it's something to realize yeah. that there is a it is a programming thing and and it could be as simple as you know you change what you're, you're subscribing to online whether it's what music you listen to because there's listen music to. that's just like suicidal. I mean like yeah, we'll, we'll use the words uh, oh life sorry ending. yeah just life to, ending because I don't know how you two will take that word but yes so yeah. yeah. So basically, <laughs> you know, you, you want to yeah. do something that, you know, is is giving yourself a positive feedback, right? What you follow, uh, you know, whether it's on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, on YouTube, whatever you're consuming content wise, just know. And some people don't even realize this. I mean, I sometimes, you know, don't even have to recheck what I'm looking at. If you're feeding a negative cycle, like where all you're seeing is, oh, wow, all I follow is war stories all day, right? Yeah. You're going to feel very depressed and like, oh, my gosh, things are just tar horrible. And that will be your bias of the world. Right. Like it how you what you fill your mind space right. with. It will affect it will affect you and you are technically programming yourself. Right. You know, you are a and self programmer. You can, programmer. That. You can, right. Right. You can choose how you program <laughs> yourself, whether you program yourself right. for creativity and construction and building and prosperity, or yeah. it could be for destruction or feeling hopeless. So just note that those who are in state power want you to feel hopeless and defeated and enslaved and like, oh, you can, you know, what you do doesn't matter. Right. So just know that's not true. And, and to also turn on against. anyone who tries. <laughs> right. To, Bring down anybody else who's trying. Right. Calling them subjective yeah. labels like, oh, you're cringe. You're, you know, 
you're ineffective. Like these right. aren't constructive criticisms. You're not they're reality. Just, they're just insults, you know, meant yeah. to just bring you get bring you down and denigrate you. Right. Uh, you know, and there's nothing there that's constructive that you would be like, take and be like, okay, yeah, I could change this and improve here. No, it's just meant to like right. poop on you. Right. right. <laughs> so well, here's a yeah. good question. They like the statement just for encapsulation. It says, I feel hopeless in defeating Canada. Yes, you could be in a place where things are really rough, yeah. but if you're not able to say, okay, Canada, you might be like, okay, I can't fix everything there. The question is, what can you do for yourself? How can you be resilient? How how can you escape what is there? And a lot of people do that. That you know, so many we we know someone of humanity who's is escaping. escaping uh, right. Canada now, like he yep. he has a lot of family there, yep. and he's yep considering leaving to go to the U.S. Remember, America was founded in the government sense. I mean, literally, but people fleeing, people fleeing. Uh, the UK. Right. So remember that and the, sometimes what, the Catholic church, uh, the church of England and also church Catholic church, that was and a, Catholic. a big impetus for it. But right. the, the broader picture is that, you know, the, the idea that suffering must be had is not true. Sometimes you have to fight. Sometimes you have to change minds and, and steer things away. And sometimes fleeing is an option. Like that is something that you have to seriously consider. You have to sometimes go and regroup and then take that passion and help stop it from happening somewhere else. And that's, that's, that's just a part of the, of the, uh, the calculation. So, oh, and this is great. He says, indeed, I'm trying to, you know, save it, move out. That's wonderful. Exactly. So, you know, we just want to be positive and encourage people to know that it's not all hopeless. It's not all desperate, but in depending on which pockets you look in the world, some parts of the world right now look like, Whoa, Oh my gosh, South America is on fire for like Liberty and ways that you're like, what the heck, how did this happen? Right, which we know how it happened, but socialism, other like, what? right? Really bad things for they us. Went, right. They're they're experiencing the but, socialism ills and, and right at an extreme level. You know, hyperinflation in Argentina, so right. they feel the pain. They're exactly, feeling that pain. Americans right now are still feeling comfortable, although a lot more are like getting many jobs, mm -hmm. working seven days a week just to like afford the same things. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's infuriating, and it's literally precisely the Federal Reserve. Right. And, and the it, debasing of mm -hmm. the currency that you're forced to use. Mm -hmm. And so, it's, and and it's pay frustrating. Taxes it's in. very frustrating. But the thing is, is that the people yeah. who are in our circles, typically the people who follow our content or, or, or like and share content very often are getting past those things because they were wise and knew to diversify, and not keep their savings in fiat. They knew, oh, OK, right. The government's going to print money. I should be in something more stable. You know, again, not particular financial advice. This is just general concepts of people who are who know about Austria economics. Like, oh yeah, you know, I should have gold and silver instead to keep my savings in. Or yeah. oh, okay, something more technology, business driven. Even uh, Bitcoin gold and silver like at all time highs. So is right. Bitcoin, right? Um, so a lot of yeah. people who you know mm -hmm. who are in our social spheres are a little bit more prepped than the average person because they understand what the government does, the currency, and they understand the business cycle. Created and by the, the consequences of what they're doing, right? They like, know about the interest rates being right. artificially lowered, yeah. and then cheap credit, and then bad investments, then raise back up, and all of a sudden the variable rate, you know, uh, loans they all crash because people can't afford. And they pay know them. it's bad. They're not so, fooled that like, right. oh, this is a good thing. This stimulates right. the economy. You know, they don't have those fallacies in anymore. <laughs> exactly. So it, <laughs> you know, falsely. if yeah. you're if you have the understanding that we have, and people who are you know like minded with us in this world where we understand economics and ethics. It's a little bit easier to stay ahead of the curve, if you know what I mean, right? You you actually can see what's coming on the horizon. You know what's going on with the government. You know what you know, and you can prepare a little bit better. And you're not totally, you know, in dire straits because oh, your your cash is all just you know literally in a bank and just some you know savings account that had nothing to it. That kind of thing. You know what I mean? So be wise and be vigilant and uh, be smart with you know how you take care of yourself. And that's one of the things we do. We talk about all different types of ways to think outside the system. And we even talk about, you know, gold backs, right? You know, the, right. Uh, the, the gold leaf uh, alternative currencies with state legal tender laws. Yeah. You we know. advocate policy when it comes to government, mm -hmm. but we also advocate, well, in the meantime, <laughs> you know, like yeah. we want to end the federal reserve, but in the meantime, what can you do? What can right. you do? And, and like you said, you can, you can do things that are within your control to do which is right. How, where, how you save, what are you saving? Mm -hmm. You know, the amount that you're saving where you live. Um, that's, that's a way to, you know, and it's not always like the easy decision. Mm -hmm. Um, like if, when it comes to where to live, for example, but when it comes to like, okay, you know, you can invest in, uh, you know, in a, in a big safe or whatever and keep all your, your stuff there and, or learn, uh, how to, 
like own Bitcoin, you know, um, and, and different uh, cryptos that you should look into. Right. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I mean, those are things you can do now. And mm -hmm. also like who you trade with and also what kind of business you choose to start. Yeah. That, that's all things you can do now, um, you know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Resilience is not, a you know, a total thing where it's like, oh, I got to be insane about it and like change my whole Agorism. life. No, it's yeah. just, it's incremental. <laughs> you, you just do a little bit of time. You mm -hmm. figure it out, you navigate it and you figure, okay, I can prep a little bit here. I can do a little bit here and you do it over time. Take your kids out of school. You, you know, yeah, that's right. huge. Uh, be a peaceful parent. Very big. Raise your kids mm -hmm. uh, without violence, coercion, right. you know, give a good example of like, okay, you know, mm -hmm. if you should believe in liberty, why would mm -hmm. they believe you if you hit them right. <laughs> and, and spank them or whatever, right. you know? So set that example for your children and really, really fight for them. Cause this is, mm -hmm. I mean, this is our chance, you know, right. to, to carry it onward and uh, at least be thankful. We're not mm -hmm. in like medieval times, you know, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> We have mass communication yeah. technology. You we can do. talk to somebody in Africa and China and I Hong do. Kong, and we do. And we literally do. Uh, in the UK, I mean, it's just across the entire planet, yeah. Lebanon, <laughs> you know, just yeah. across the whole world. Very it's cool pretty incredible world. to yeah. uh, be in this this place. So mm -hmm. just be thankful for that, for, for really just being alive. I, I feel thankful every day to just be alive. And that, even just that, you know, it may sound simple, but it's not. I mean, just. Don't take your life for granted and, you know, steward it, uh, uh, find what mm -hmm. brings out, you know, the goodness in you, the light, the joy, uh, your happiness, your passion, what you, you truly care about securing for yourself and your children, the, the future generations, people of the world now, you know, and, and for us, that's peace and liberty mm -hmm. um, and prosperity. Babe Jerry. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta have this. That's how you have it, Lee Bell. <laughs> and also, I don't know if you saw. Thank you, Lee Bell. Lee Bell gave us the super chat, and they also oh, said, "I'm the one who got you past six six six. There we go. Thank you so much, Thank Lee you. Bell. That's that's awesome. I'll Must take... have bothered you too. <laughs> <It> bothered <me. laughs> All right, let's see how this maple strip salmon. Let's see how it goes. That sounded smooth. Wow, is it? Oh, I don't normally wow. like salmon unless it's in sushi. So true. Let's see. Oh, you heard that. Oh, yeah. Definitely tastes like fish. Tastes like coconut, too. Tastes a little bit of coconut. And the syrup. Yeah, you can taste the maple sugar. That's so good. All right, this might be the best fish snack I've had. Yeah. For real. This is actually, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't normally just eat salmon. And like, eh, eh. This actually tastes pretty good. And this is how really, you get your husband to eat salmon. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, if he eats a salad, wow, it must be some good salad, right? Must be some good salad because I just like to eat meat, not, really like uh, salad. not salad. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and sweets. You have a sweet tooth. Yeah, that. I mean, that's excellent. It's It's got a little bit, yeah, it has a little bit of sweet there too. So it's kind of satisfying. It's like the Wagyu, like it's moist, you know? I almost prefer I it love to the, the Wagyu, epic. actually. Yeah, because it's mm -hmm. sweeter. It's like yeah. more like candied. Yeah. Wow. Salmon tastes like that, you know, when you when you bake it and then you get it like all crispy. <laughs> it tastes like sugar. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that was a good one. Actually, um, oh, good. I do have to say we got another support in the campaign. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what that means? More meat. It means we're going to spin that wheel again. Why is Spike disappointed in me? Well, because I don't normally like salmon. Oh. Spike is stuck with salmon, <laughs> Fina, no. That's so funny. I forgot it's like, about it's that. It's funny, you know, so Spike. He had like a whole case. Someone gave like, I love that LP guy. Alaska. Like they gave him a whole case of salmon. And he was like, well, we kept it. And then like Tasha texted us during a power outage. And she's like, oh, yeah, we're just eating all that salmon all that now. <laughs> I, I told like, him he great. needs to go to like, you know, because I don't know if anybody saw this. I imagine most people here did. But Spike debated David Hogg. Yeah. And David Hogg actually held up pretty well considering, you know, the – the stress he must have been under where Spike had way more facts at his disposal. Cause I mean, it's he, a sophist training right, he, at Harvard. He didn't, he didn't have much. They're very the, good at sophistry of, there at right. Harvard. Right. So he just tried to keep his demeanor. like, I'm going to be the nice, the seem like I'm respectable guy, Right. but he didn't have, you know, any strong counter arguments really. Yeah. So, um, 
you know, so that was his, you know, what he had to fall back on, you know, David Hogg did. So, uh, but the person who really slammed it, you know what I mean? With, with after Spike laid it down, that was <laughs> Lily Tang Williams. So she came in. Yeah, we met her at Pork Fest. Like oh, yeah, she was she just was walking. <laughs> and I was about to say something, but before I could say, like, Lily, you know, she's yeah. like, it's a philosopher. She, yes. I was like, oh. And she was on one of those golf courts. So they're like driving yeah, by. And she's like, oh, God, right. I was like, oh, that's cool. Okay, cool, cool. That was awesome. Yeah, that was, I was like, all right, that's bad. That's respect. That's respect. She, like, what I really appreciate <laughs> about Lily is she, you know, represents what happened with the Mao Zedong takeover. Um, right. She was just there laying just it down. She's talking like, talking hey. about, no, this is right. not a cultural revolution. This right. is not a good thing. This was literally a murder campaign. Mm -hmm. You know, Mao Zedong right. had uh, children turn on their own parents and murder them. Right. Um, just getting them mad about property rights. And and that's what communism, socialism is. It's getting mad about property rights. It's like, no, <laughs> I'm I need to control everything. I, you know, if you, I deserve to control everything because everyone else is inferior to me. I mean, that's how communists and socialists think central planners. They literally think that that's why they don't believe in individual body and property rights. Mm -hmm. They look down on others fundamentally. Right. They're the most bigoted of them all, <laughs> in a sense, because they just, you know, authoritarians, which is what communists, socialists are, fascists. They're all flavors of authoritarianism. They want to centrally and plan people's lives. Yeah, because they yeah. think they know mm -hmm. it all and they know it best and therefore mm -hmm. they should control all lives, all property uh, and dictate what people do. And so, right. you know, we're simply advocating for anarcho-capitalism or libertarian voluntarism. I like uh, just to make yeah. it extra clear. I want to make it because <laughs> for people yeah. who are confused, my advocacy, and I say this very specifically in my book, and I've written three nonfiction books. So I, want, I always like to be very clear about this. My specific Check advocacy out these books. is simply that by moving toward a true libertarian yeah. future, we're moving away from taxation being the funding model where it becomes more voluntary and you're moving away from, you know, coercion and everything and getting rid of victimless crime laws. Eventually, if you're able to er erase those things and erode those things, a natural market order will outshadow the government, whatever is remnant. So that's that's I really am a big fan of of avoiding chaos if possible. And I know a lot of people are like, well, who will build the roads and stuff? I'm like, look, the roads are already here. The roads, it's just a question of, okay, well, oh, how are they maintained? Mm -hmm. It's silly. So I cover those things. And if you have not you know, read this book, this is a great primer on this. I mean, it's really an incredible way to just digest in, in specific form with great citations where you can even do further research for yourself and just see, oh, okay, that's how we can actually move toward a libertarian future and really get rid of the violence and, and really move toward a peaceful order and privatize all that good stuff without – having everything like, oh, what about you know, foreign garments and other stuff? I, I cover that all. So make sure that you have a sound mind when it comes to those things too, so that you are able to resist all the sophistry that people will say about, you know, oh, well, what will happen if, you know, to the children and regulation and all sorts of stuff. It's just, it's it's way easier to deal with than people realize. Um, it's just a matter of getting that framework down and understanding, oh, okay, this is how, you know, those things get taken care of. So. Right. You want more? I don't because we got to spin this wheel. Oh. So we have actually... <laughs> We, remember, we have to spin the wheel for the one new uh, backing on the campaign, and we're going to have another in just a moment. Yeah, and I just want to add to what you said. Like no, you in your book, wheel. A Vision for a Libertarian <laughs> Future. Um, okay, well, uh, but like I really just like how you lay out just getting people thinking. Like there is a way to transition. Oh, know? absolutely. Yeah. Like yeah. the state is here. And so when people are like, oh my God, yeah, if everything ended tomorrow, it'd be chaos. And it's like, yeah, we're not advocating for like everything to end and like you just burn everything and, you know, no, it's like you need to methodically think about how we can uh, restore our property rights, you know, and in right. the right phases um, and, and what ways. And it's just I really like how you lay out like, hey, you know, the state is here. So the idea is what do we do? <laughs> how to reorganize right, and restructure right. yeah. so that you're actually maximizing individual consent and property rights right so and the advocacies work yeah. regardless of any situation where you think the government's getting worse so that doesn't matter the, these ideas right. are fundamentally what help keep people focused and not rationalize more state yeah. control like these ideas no matter what with the you know whether you think it's feasible or not with be a collapse source doesn't matter these ideas keep people focused on being like oh right 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 i'm not going to rationalize 
more state control. I'm going to think about how we think outside the state and how to de-escalate. And that's really yeah. the key. That's that's really what you need to know. So right. In a lot of ways, it's not so much burning everything down, but disempowering it, removing so much of the power uh, and coercion that's there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, okay, if the government, your state government existed, but you're not forced to fund them, mm -hmm. it's not coercion anymore. <laughs> well, a lot, yeah. it would lose a lot of its coercive aspects yeah. until, you know, you have to remove but, victimless crime and other stuff like that right. too, but yes. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So speaking of a All crime, right. you're going to spin this wheel. <laughs> okay. Do the, we, do we need another meat? You need a take? meat. Yeah. I'm going to have you put up a. A different meat. A di yeah. One that we haven't had. So it's more likely that. Oh, we, we get... haven't had this. Oh. There's still a few sticks we haven't tried. Yeah, we haven't done the chicken. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You never know what you're going to spin. Okay, let me just... She's got to wrap her meat. It's going to take a moment. Oh, I got to stick it on there. There you go. That's beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. That's art. <laughs> you should have seen how Jack did it before. A perfectly wrapped meat. It, it was, was like... bad. It was embarrassing. <laughs> it was like, hi, I have a boy. I'm a boy. I'm just going to slap tape on this and hope it all sticks. No, nah, that's an insult. There are boys who are very neat. Anyway. Oh, I'm just not one of them. I see. I get it. Yeah. You fit the stereotype. Um, in that regard. All right. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Big spin, big win, big Yay! chicken. Big chicken. Is it going to be chicken? Oh. oh. It's a spicy beef stick again. Oh. Okay. Well, it works. All right. All right. Show the base spicy beef. We can remind people this is the spicy beef for those of you who are new. Because there are some people who are new. See, just like oh, this person hey, here. Oh, hey, what's up? What, what up? up? <laughs> the spicy beef. Hey, welcome, mercenary. We're having the spicy this time. This is actually, it is a little spicy in terms of just, there is a spice to it. Yeah. Wait, is this the only spicy beef that's here? Oh, uh, wait, no, this is, oh, yeah. I didn't realize that it was. <laughs> yeah, it was already open. I didn't even, I thought it was wrapped tight. Oh. Mm. And that's a good one. It does leave a little bit of spice. Yeah, it does. The new primal. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's so much better than shots. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly healthier. I mean, oh, shots are fun. Shots are fun. Yeah. They're really fun. They're just well, so unhealthy. I like having my liver working. It's just poison. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> As Gio says, here, people have been deeply indoctrinated by the education system, the education, aka indoctrination system, and the MSN to worship the state. Yes. And that's why we're here breaking people out of the matrix, because that's what we do. We uh, do it by uh, having some fun and doing some crazy stuff with our own counter propaganda. It's like, why are the most the destructive drugs educational videos. legal, right? What? Like cigarettes, and alcohol. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> why are these drugs legal? <laughs> no, like the, if you look at like the classifications of right. drugs, mm. it's like some of the most damaging <laughs> ones are legal. Prescription drugs can be hard, like terrible for your body. Of course, ones. of course. Uh, depression medication. You think the government wants people healthy? Right, but it, it's getting them <laughs> indoctrinated to just like believe. And it's like, wow. Right. <clears throat> wow. We got to wake up so many people. They're literally like that movie, The Matrix. Like it was, that We're was a good metaphor. We're doing it. <laughs> All right. This is so spice. <laughs> I don't know why that spice got deep in my throat. Yeah, me that meat stick went deeper than I thought it would. It, uh, it's. Uh, yeah. Woo! All right. So we do have another spin to win because Rudolph, uh, boot, uh, Buford, 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 you tell me because it's. In, I think Buford. I, I mean, it's currently in a different isn't currency. Isn't that a, isn't that a Euros? European euros? Euros, right? I don't think it's pounds. <laughs> it looks like euros. Yeah, it looks like euros. It looks very euro to me. Yeah, not All pounds right. sterling. So we got four euros. I don't know which country it'll be, but um, it does mean oh. that you have to, to spin. Thanks, Rudolph Buf Buford. Beoford. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's spin this and not choke them. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, I'm what's the zoom? I'll, wait, what is it? Oh, we already oh, had that here, one. How I'll about spin this? It again. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. I hope it's chicken. chicken. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. What is that? Pepperoni season turkey stick. Oh, we haven't had that one. Okay. We haven't had it. All right. That's a new one. We got a new one. All right. Cool. Do we <laughs> have we? that in the bag? Or no? Hold on. Let me see. Hmm. What? Turkey? Yeah. Pepperoni turkey. There we go. Show off your meat. Wonderful. <laughs> oh my gosh. The battle to get the meat and focus. Oh, okay. there it is. <laughs> so close. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperoni season turkey. I think it's working. Yeah. 
Okay. Wait, I can't see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's chomps and it's pepperoni, seasoned turkey chicken, okay. mild. And this is just. Yeah, I'm so short. I got you. All right. So pepperoni. <laughs> Pepperoni tur seasoned turkey steak, chomps, <laughs> antibiotic, free turkey. Oh, it's all, all stick, stick without, without the ick. 12 grams of protein. Ooh, it's got a lot of protein in. This is good so for the awesome. protein people. 80 calories. <laughs> a little more thicker for your snicker. Um, and, uh, thicker for your snicker. Yeah. It's got apparently no nitrates, Ooh. no antibiotics or added hormones. All right. And the ingredients wow. are turkey. Oh, surprising. And lactic acid. Okay. No oil. No oil. All right. Well, I recognize all those ingredients. Now that we have honored Ooh. the meat. We may <laughs> taste the meat. We may taste the meat. I don't know what. Thank you, Rudolph, for appreciation for the music videos. It's a, oh, it's a daunting task. Our pleasure. But we love making them. And, and we're, we're excited to make the Fed because it's fully we funded. Are so excited uh, to make the Fed. You know, but pick up. Some coasters, get your set of taxation is theft, and end the Fed coasters. You know, don't they just stand out that yell that gold ring right there? It does. It's, they're, ring. they're so amazing, honestly. No, and the white. You're and gonna the love black. these more I than if you have children, you'll love them more than your own children. Or right, maybe not that, but you will love them dearly because they, they just feel good. They just bring a smile. Like every time, right? You have a coffee, you have you have a drink. You're just like you put it down, you lift it up, you're like, and the Fed, you're just like. You're like, that's what we're working for. We got to change minds. That's right. You know, and you have your friends come over. Maybe they're liberty leaning. Right. Maybe they're really status relatives, whatever. Right. And right. they're like, no, it's not. Or, or tell me more. You know, <laughs> either way, you can make it peaceful and, and try to change their mind <laughs> <laughs> and, and spread the culture. So that's thanks, right. Imperial Guard. Uh, yeah, we're filming it at the Fed. Not in the Fed, but. In yeah. front of the Fed, as far as we can right. go, without them coming in and I guess uh, disappearing us, I guess because it's private. And it's tight. Remember, it's not. It's federal, but it's not uh, public. It's private. Well, so. even the White House, it's public, but you can't go in. There's anymore. limits. Yeah, we got yeah. limits. So we got to work within those limits, unfortunately. Ooh, that's good. All right, here we go. A pepperoni turkey stick. Just the ASMR. We're just eating. Oh. <laughs> I definitely taste like pepperoni. Actually. I know. It just tastes like pepperoni. It tastes like pepperoni. That's good, though. I feel like I'm eating pepperoni off a of pizza. It does. Pepperoni it stick. tastes like that. Mm hmm How satisfying. This literally tastes like you just had pepperoni from a pizza, but it's in a stick. <laughs> yeah, and it's not greasy. It's not bad. It's like Because it, sometimes I'm pepperoni is like it. super oily. But I'm not sure if I'm for it. If you're a pepperoni right. Fiend, you're gonna eat this meat like as if it's your job. I love like it's my job. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not a big pepperoni guy, so you know, it's okay. It's okay. Pepperoni, <laughs> pepperoni. mamma mia. <laughs> oh, okay. Linguini. Linguini. Okay. Linguini. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe how much we've meat we've eaten. Okay. How about wait? How many? Okay, so we're at forty-five backers. We're at five seven seven one, which is beautiful. Thank you so much yeah, for your generosity. Wow. Thank you for We're helping. Streaming us get for there. an hour and a half. We stream for an hour and a half. We have eaten a lot of meats, and it's going to produce some interesting. <laughs> Hope we're all things. entertained. It's Saturday night. You could be out looking at the stars. In fact, you should go you out, might. look at the stars, look at the moon, find mm. the Big Dipper or whatever you can see from your location. <laughs> whatever you can find, and know that the Earth is round. What 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 meat? Yes, that's true. What meat have we not had yet? Uh, chicken. Okay, so chicken. buffalo style chicken is one. Uh, we had the we had beef. We had the that beef. Buffalo and the turkey. We haven't had the well. That's a chicken. Yeah. So I think that's it. It's just one last one, right? That's yeah. Okay, so we just pick it. All right, so we're down to one last one. So whatever is next. Either a campaign support or a super chat, whatever amount, we will spin the wheel for fun, but we will just do that one that we have not done so that we, we can actually have gone through every single meat we could get our hands on. Someone said, keep spinning Wait. over and over until you hit it. Oh, there's another one. Wait, did we do one? this one? <gasps> Italian. Oh, my God. And we're just doing accents. 
I can't believe it's wait, Italian. I didn't I didn't realize this. I accidentally had a uh, a secret beef. Okay. It's Italian beef. <laughs> it's Italian. Get into focus. It's a chumps. There we go. Sorry. Okay, wait, wait, but we we really didn't have this one? Yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't have this. So we have an Italian cool. style beef stick. So if you're an Italian fan, ooh. Okay, so we Italian. Oh, you're Italian. So, we, oh, Italian. <laughs> Italian <fans>. so wait. <laughs> So we do have two different beef sticks left. The chicken and the egg. Okay, so then, yeah. all right, so I, I would say just that, that where at this point we spin, we will do the ones we haven't. Okay. Okay. Someone said, uh, keep spinning over and over until you hit it. <laughs> that Now that could be interesting. I don't That'd know fun. how long that would take. But all right, so secure the beef. Okay, Here. I'll change out the venison. You can even change, I actually have the multiple of these. Well, I don't know. Yeah, switch out the meat. So now you will increase it. the probability. You're rigging it. Who can? Yeah, we're rigging this game. This election. It's, we and get Buffalo. The video gets taken down because I made a joke. That's true. Actually. You're not allowed to talk about what we do here. You can't talk about your big beefy elections. Can't talk about how we manipulate numbers. Ah, it's sad when there's so many things we can't talk about on this particular platform outright. But we value reaching people with the message of liberty and. We take the things we really want to say for other formats. Yeah. So like the music video. <laughs> right. I mean, that's that was our focus getting into it. Right. Focus more on music because of all the lockdowns and just seeing like in the censorship on social media. I mean, it's crazy just how much they've uh throttled what I what we've done, you know, on Facebook, oh, especially. Yeah, yeah. We've had to fight I so mean, much. Having, stuff. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, I will change. But that. our beef will get past anything they can throw at us. All right. Should I leave the venison? Take it off. Uh, yeah. Take the venison off. That venison was nasty. <laughs> that venison was was no good. Yeah, I'm good. I... Uh, it was just so dry. This is who wants dry meat in their mouth? Is that what you want? I don't want dry meat. It wasn't well. <laughs> It was yeah, I want the meat wet. nice and wet. Aww. It slides in easily. <clears throat> it's chewable. Yep. You know, that's that's it. <laughs> so true. Thing. All right. All right, here we go. Your re re for one night. <laughs> you're reestablishing your meat connection. He's got the dad jokes ready, folks. Dad jokes and meat jokes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, am I replacing anything else? Ah. Um, you oh, could no. just with yeah, chicken? just yeah. with whatever we haven't had. As, right, right, right. Yeah, maybe even these guys right here, the, the smoked salmon, the wakey. The, oh, you can take the off. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Take them off. Okay. So, what's been your favorite right. meat so far? I'll Let us know them. down in the comments what you think you'd like to try yeah. the most out of the ones we've uh, tasted so far. Our my favorites is definitely the wagyu and the salmon. Like the salmon was impressively good. Were, like, maybe I have okay. a bias with like this candied barbecue kind of like pounded meat flavor. Yeah. Like that I had in like China Day. You just yeah, go yeah, and it's yeah. like a snack. Yeah, yeah. So it just tastes like that. It's so yeah. good. <laughs> that Chinatown beef is something else. I love the market. I do too. Chan Chan Pujine. Do you know what that means if you're a Cantonese? Anyone? All right. <laughs> or a dying breed. You are dying, <laughs> especially at the China took over Hong Kong, where it's in trouble. It's so sad. The troubled asset. It's sad. Um, but yeah, that's why we gotta, you know, have yeah. the Fed and uh, get our own house in order before we can try to help save the rest of the world, and change and the world, make America a beacon of liberty again. I mean, as a first generation American, mm -hmm. my family is, uh, my parents are immigrants. Like, yeah. I I know their perspective of how they really value the American dream or what that idea is. It's, no. And so yeah. I just I really want to strive to make that true again. So because yeah. And so I like anything. It's definitely spicy. freer than see, the China. Uh, I'm I'm happier to be in America than in China. Right. We would have been like abducted China by would, now. Be make sure we have to fight People really hard. like literally get abducted. Uh, in they're in their homes mm -hmm. and they say something on the internet. Um, I saw a woman just get kidnapped by the CCP mm -hmm. and she's yeah. taken away. And you yeah, know, that that's what they're facing. So here, 
in America, the feds <laughs> have to be all clandestine yeah. and they use propaganda and their corporate, you know, press to indoctrinate everybody in their public schools. And that's how they have the system of control in place. Right. Um, it's propaganda. Yeah. It's, you got to exit the uh, status matrix, get out of the programming cycle, take care of yourself and those around you and, yeah. and educate others as best as you can. And, or, you know, if you're not great at talking, you're like, Oh, we'll give someone resources where you think it's more articulate, a video or article or whatever, you know, you think is very valuable. Yeah. And I would All say right. like, if we're, if you are someone that strives for, you know, whatever, a libertarian order, a <laughs> principled republic uh, you know in capistan like mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. <laughs> you would be doing that anyway because if it's about private property rights that's what you're doing you know you're not trying to control others and coerce others and that's why it, it is really always almost always just about changing minds you know mm -hmm. you if you start a new business you have to change minds to get someone to like your product uh -huh. and to believe in what you're doing and, right. and to support so i mean I, I try to see it as like, huh, imagine you're already in a liberty society. What would you want to do? You know, mm -hmm. like, what do you want to specialize in? What mm -hmm. What do you want to do for work? What do you enjoy? Um, what things do you want to do for work? You can have multiple jobs or, you know, in hustles and businesses. Like, you have multiple things mm -hmm. going on. Um, so, yeah, really just, you like know. You could have a fun business. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Oh, JWTC20C says, Fu, do you have a pho recipe you can share? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I don't have it written down. Uh, my mom remembers and uh, That's her fuzz the best. So good. That's but we tried best. many fuzz. I mean, there's so many kinds. It's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love all the, like, you've tried so many different goikus and fuzz. Mm -hmm. Like, they're oh, slightly yeah. different you know, styles between families um, in, in different parts and regions of Vietnam. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> but bone broth is key. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How about we give one free spin to the audience? We're closing in. All right. Yeah, we're almost at two see if we get, hours. Cause I, yeah, because they're getting close to our checkout time. Well, so we're we, almost at midnight. Let's see if we can get one more backer, 46, maybe for the last spin yeah, for the meet. Yeah, before we uh, But we'll do, we'll do one free spin for everybody that's hung with us for so long. Yeah, thanks for staying. until it becomes Sunday on know, the right? East Coast here. <laughs> so thanks, everyone who you know is having fun with us in the chat, yeah. talking, inspiring each other, and, and sharing love of liberty. So we want to give you a spin of our uh, meat honor <laughs> as we you can play a song. I, I did could. Or you want to end with it? This one's good. Though. That yeah, our latest song is so good. I I it's a good one. You gotta listen to it. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, let's spin this. Oh. Wait, is no, no we've had that one. That. Here, right, spin, again, again. spin again. Spin <laughs> again. Hey! Hey, the Italian beef the stick. Italian. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's try to show this again. Yes. Here. <laughs> Get it. Here, yeah. how about the other one? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so close. <laughs> it's so close. Oh my God, it's so close. Okay. So it's Italian style beef stick. You feel there? It's mild. It's chops. I oh, try so hard. It's made with grass fed and finished beef, all stick without the ick. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Italian beef. That's kind of oh, interesting. That is. The uh, ingredients are grass-fed and finished beef, water, less than 2% of encapsulated lactic acid, sea salt, cultural, mm. cultured celery powder, celery powder, sea salt, cherry powder, ground oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, ground-based basil stuffed in a beef collagen casing. Wow. Mm. I recognize all those ingredients. Well, let's see. I wonder how this, if it tastes Italian. What does Italian taste like? I don't know. Like pepperoni? <laughs> There's many tastes of Italian, right? There Tomato, are many tastes of Italian. Basil. It's true. Pasta. Octopus. <laughs> Calamari. All right. Does this taste Italian? Hmm. Mm. 
don't know. Can't say I'm an Italian expert, though. But. Hmm. It tastes like the sweat off a, <laughs> a guy working in a pizza shop in, in New York downtown. It's you know, Italian. It tastes good. <laughs> no, it tastes, it tastes Italian. Hmm. It does. It's got that, that seasoning that. Yeah. I definitely like would associate with, with, with Italian. It's yeah, yeah, like yeah. tomato. Yeah, you can taste it again too, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. That's good. More caloric. 100 calories. Oh, wow. Hang guys birthday now. Okay. All that right. That delicious. That was good. That was good. So thank you so much, everybody, for your support and for helping us um, yeah, thank you. do more messaging and outreach and all that stuff. We have one last the beef chicken. to try, the chicken. So chicken. fingers crossed. We'll try for either one with Super Chat or one, again, we're on the campaign. We uh, did hit 100% of goal. Woo! We're finding actually get more five special effects. Left. We got five days left. Eee. So anything you can do that helps us even beyond this actually gets us more production ability because, of course, props, special effects, and assets, they cost money. So we have to usually buy them or outsource them. So if we could have a bigger budget for that, that's even better. We can do more cool things, help educate people on the history of the Fed. And, of course, heal them. And teach them about what the Fed is actually doing to our money with both our education materials and to point them to a resource to that, which we're going to do, like the you know the creature from Jekyll Island by Geo or Griffin. Yep. Um, yep. Oh, says what says the Money Masters. That's a good documentary. Yeah, to, that's a good documentary um, to just. The guy who makes it yeah. is a bit more of like a silver fan guy. He's like the Treasury should do silver. It's like his conclusions his, are not his all solutions. There. Uh, we don't agree. Right, with, but, but like but his, the actual history, the history. Very yeah. good. 1996 yeah, yeah. movie. It's like what three, four hours long. It's pretty long. Yeah, it's pretty long. It's a great. But you can go on YouTube. It's um, it's really good. Yeah, watch. Yeah. It's a good money, explanation of what happened. Yeah, the Money uh, Masters. 1996. Or if you like to read uh, the creature YouTube. from Jekyll Island by G. Edward Griffin, yes. would be the book to read yeah. there. Uh, book to read. Oh. <laughs> the song, you know, and the yeah. Fed, it gives you a summary, but right. it's like the cliff notes, you know, it just, <laughs> in a catchy way, is trying to get people like, yeah, we really need to end the Fed. <laughs> right. All right. Can I you know. imagine the wealth, like, that you would have? I mean, if you ended taxation, starting with, I mean, even just starting with federal income taxation and mm -hmm. abolishing the IRS, you would be so much more wealthier from day one, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Oh, th this is interesting. He says, uh, Jesus condemned the money changers. But yeah, most people don't know the reasons why they condemned the money changers. It's not because they changed money or anything like that. It was actually because they had um, exorbitant, weird rules to like basically really screw over widows and poor people and stuff like that who had to buy specific animals instead of saying that they could just buy like regular animals for sacrifice. This is like yeah. nuanced Christian Jewish history that. You have to be really deeply understanding of instead of just one liners from the Bible kind of thing. But that is actually the reason why it's not the it's not the act of money changing that is unethical. It was the treatment of the poor and widows and stuff like that and, and how people were being manipulated to try to, you know, force them to buy these expensive animals for sacrifice of, you know, in the temple. But right. Fun facts about biblical history. Um, yeah. So. But uh, yeah. Oh, and yes. Yeah, G. Edward Griffin, exactly. So we said we uh, we said everybody yeah, he has in the these chat. Red Pill Expo. He's, mm -hmm. he's still alive. I mean, he's. I know. So someone still, who we know said like, yeah, they they were having those things, and they said something about everybody getting sick at one. It was kind of weird. What? Thing. I gotta look into that. Really? The red yeah. pill. Oh, yeah. Like I haven't heard weird, of that. I don't know. I gotta look into it. But mm -hmm. it's interesting. It's certainly interesting. And and G. Edward Griffin and his his expose sent you know a message to everybody in the chats like to check out that book, Money Masters. If you read that book and watch Money Masters. You'll have a really nice detailed history of the Federal Reserve, and you'll really, you know, understand if you want to go to that next level. So it's it's a great, great exploration. Yeah. Um, that's what we want to do. We want to educate people and make them stronger thinkers for liberty as well. So. Yep, definitely. All right. Well, we'll give it two more minutes, and if there's no super chat or campaign support, Guess then we might close without that. having our meat. Wait, which meat? The bun. I mean, we'll eat it, but like, for you guys. There's, this is the eat. last. Meat stick. It's the last one. I know you want us to review it. So even if it's a dollar super chat or a dollar the campaign, whatever it is, come on in support, and we'll test this out and review it for you. It is worth the change. Yeah. And Thanks, censored one. Yeah. He says y'all are doing God's work. 
Thanks. Thank you. That's what we try to do. We try to uh, educate people about the principles of liberty, encourage them to uh, you know get their kids out of the brainwashing and yeah, and take ownership of your right. life uh, as much as you can. I know that, like I said earlier, everyone has their own risk calculation. Uh, but as much as you can, try your best to disobey and think outside the state and work outside the state and transact outside the state. Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition, change minds. And really, that's the best thing we can do. So. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh God, JWDC. Ah, thanks, All right. WDC. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You have unlocked the last meat. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. So, also by the new primal. New primal. This chicken. is the buffalo style chicken stick. So chicken, nine grams protein. Ooh, that's only sixty calories. Pretty lean. <laughs> yeah, because chicken. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's upside, upside down. down. Of course, yeah. it's oh, upside down. There we go. Right. All right, so we got huh. a little more ingredients here. Look at that. Mm. Mm. White vinegar. So got all natural chicken. Is that hormones, I antibiotics, sea salt, chicken all broth? All those ingredients. Yeah, not so bad though. Not actually not too bad. Minimally huh. processed, vegetarian fed. Huh. Distributed by. Okay. In uh, South Carolina. Neat. All right, so now you have huh. to unwrap this last meat. This is the last one. The so last meat. I win. He does For win. For now. So this is the last. Thank you so much. The final meat. The final meat. And hopefully now you know what to avoid, which we did the hard work for you. We showed you that uh, do, you do not want to buy the, the epic venison. Mm. That is dry. Yeah. Don't get this one. The venison strip. That was that was rough. That was rough on the mouth. Oh, good. Is that good? That's interesting. Yeah. Um, okay. Hmm. Everyone watched as I gave mm. you cooties mm -hmm. the whole night. Mm -hmm. Big time. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. No, it's, it, the buffalo. Yeah. It has that like it buffalo like sauce. Cheese. Oh, like buffalo right, right. wings. Chicken right. wings. Yeah. It's, no, it definitely tastes like a buffalo sauce, like but a light amount of it, not like it's slathered. Um, Flavor's great. It's moist. I would, yeah, I would eat this. It's good. It's good. Yeah, so the buff. These are nice long right. sticks of nice meat. Long st All right, so let's show off our favorite meats. All right, All right favorite so meats. Salmon smoked here. Yeah, from Epic. So, so the the man. Epic. <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch, switch views. All right, so this one yeah. was good. The salmon smoke. Oh wait, we don't see Epic, but yeah, but it's Epic. You get the idea. Yeah, the um, wagyu. The the buffalo that we just had that was good by the new primal that definitely recommend. The wagyu. Wagyu was good. Uh, there's another by Epic. It was it was soft and supple. That was good. The jalapeno was good. Yeah, jalapeno was pretty good. Um, so jalapeno beef stick. Yeah, chomps. I would say chomps, chomps and the Epic brand's good. And if you like the gamey taste, you you Italian probably would like the stick. venison anyway. I mm -hmm. mean, you yourself might want to, might want to try it all. Yeah. But uh, these are good brands. And then I, I personally I really did. The ingredients. Yeah, I like the spicy a lot. Like, because I'm a big yeah. spicy fan. And the, again, it, it's spicy where it's like, okay, there's spice in there, but it's not like so overly well. You're like, okay, I can't taste anything. It's it's a right. nice balance. This is a good, like, Unless, oh, I like that. Feel again, spicy. everyone has different tastes. Like some people right. can't handle black you can't pepper handle spice, or this is gonna kill anything. You. So. But it's not, it's not so spicy. Yeah. You're going to be like, uh, you know, so good one. Good one to, to try out. That's a good one. Delicious. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Imperial Guard, JWTC1. BTC 20 C, yeah. sorry. Uh, mercenary BDU, censored one. Thank you, some muddied water yeah, we gotta media. Say, Lee you. Bell. You're gonna say, yeah, thank you to Robert, Robert. Real Geo. Thank you to Geo. Yeah, thank you so big much. Ups to Ley Lines. Yeah. Yeah, big ups to Lee. Big ups to Rudolph. Rudolph. Yes. Thank and, you so um, much. <laughs> yeah, so many different people came out and were kind and, and did lots of support. And on the campaign too, you know, obviously we don't mention anybody who um, doesn't want to be mentioned. They had to tell us, but thank you so much, yeah. everybody, for coming out and supporting us and getting this far. We have five days left. We'll doing a little bit more promos, not live streams, but yeah, other and get your coasters. I don't right. know when we will do these again, but they really are great. That's true. You're looking for coasters and uh, they're dishwasher safe and hand wash safe. You can go ahead and pick up a set. Yeah, this is definitely worth getting on its own just for fun, just because you're like, oh yeah, cool. I want some cool and the Fed coasters definitely do it. 
right? You're throwing a party. You got so you're like, oh, I need a coaster for my drink here. <laughs> I got you. There and you they're go. like, what? What's this? Taxation theft? theft? What do you mean? And the Fed? What inflation is theft? What do you mean? So many good conversations about how we're enslaved. But <laughs> we will change more minds as we have been. I mean, it's clearly and there working. will be more is, Javier is or what? Malays. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you didn't have this 20 years ago. You didn't have like the major figures and economic people like talking about anarcho capitalism and, and talking about BC and Rothbard stuff 20 years ago. Come on, this is ridiculous. You Javier Malay, Elon um, Musk, and who was it? Jack Dorsey. UFC, yeah, Jack he Dorsey. was one of the first. Like I remember, like right, he years tweeted ago, out Anatomy of the State. Anatomy of the State by Murray Rothbard. I'm like, okay. <laughs> He didn't give any qualitative statement to right, like, say right. his opinion, but hey, he like shared to everybody. Oh, right. Oh, I, no, I was like, whoa. You had uh, also, uh, what's his face? The ideas uh, are getting from Adam there. Sandler's movies. Um, oh, uh, Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Yeah, right, reading, talks about me. Right, like, meeting Tom Woods and getting connected with it, him. There's and, so many right. people who yeah. are doing it. I mean, of course, I'm just barely scratching the surface when I talk about this. It's just so many people who have engaged with it on a, a wire cultural level. It's, it's really something else. So yeah. take hope. The only reason the propaganda is getting this big about all the war stuff and this or that is because those in the governments realize that their time is coming up and they need to throw everything at us in order to upend this the global people who liberty cultural revolution. Everyone down and murdered so, people. Yeah. Through all the mandates, they're still around. They're still oh, yeah. in power. Those evil people. You know, they and to be brought to justice to say the least. Yeah. So so yeah. <laughs> Just saying, I'm choking on my meat. You know, the, the only reason things yeah. might be presented in the media so dire, especially when it comes to warfare stuff, is because that is how much the message of liberty is becoming effective across the world again. Just like in 2019, before yeah. the lockdown, shutdown, nonsense, all that event to a one. I would argue it backfired on them because they're like, oh no, yeah. there's all these protests around the world. All right, let's add fuel to the fire and get mm -hmm. people even more mad and questioning yep. what's going on. So, so I think they no. kind of laid back. They're like, okay, sorry, let's bribe you with some more free stuff again. Mm -hmm. Let's get you freaked out about mm -hmm. wars, mm -hmm. you know, in, in Ukraine, Russia, Israel, yeah. and, you know, all that. And mm -hmm. distract you from the fact that we're robbing you. Right. We're robbing you through taxation and inflation yep. with the Federal Reserve and, and printing money. So mm -hmm. that's really the focus. I mean, we as Americans, that's what we need to focus on. When mm -hmm. you, If you go to political rallies, say, end the Fed. And right. taxation, taxation, taxation theft, theft the taxation wars, slavery, and all victimless crime yeah. laws. I mean, just pill people on the core principles and the big ideas because the more people and gun have control, to face it, right? The more they yeah. are forced to engage with those ideas because once you you put an idea in someone's head like taxation and theft, yeah, it does. It's over. It's it's been heard. You can't undo right. it, and their mind is now thinking about it. They can't. It's yeah. just subconsciously they can't help it. Like, wait, what do you mean it's the theft? It's, oh, right. well, we can send this, and all of a sudden it's don't, like, don't let them win. Don't let them bully you into submission. Yeah. So uh, both physically and mentally, mm -hmm. don't let them make yeah. you think that you're powerless. Don't make them make you think that you have to go along with statism mm -hmm. or you know, the most status Republican and not actually use your voice to say, no, I want better, you know, and whoever mm -hmm. is in office, this is what you want, you know, and, and right. that what, what you want to end and the, uh, the no violence and the coercion to end. Mm -hmm. Right. It's up to us to change their minds and yep. not be influenced by them. Correct. You know, because otherwise it's just not going to end and you're just falling into what they want, mm -hmm. which is compliance and, and that's justification how, for right. their rule. So. And even what Don't we see now, <laughs> right, with with how far that Overton window shifted is is precisely because of the radical message of liberty that permeated the culture, especially over the last right, four telling years. telling people to disobey. Right. I did not consent. And now what's right. happening is, is once people get a modicum of success, they get their financial bag, then it becomes, oh, well, we, we got to compromise. We got to pander. If, the if they're not and principled. If they're not principled. And if their un income so, relies on pandering to yeah. statists. Yep. Well, that's what they're going to do. Yeah, watch what happens. If they attract a bunch of statists out of a reactionary sort of movement or way of getting big, well, what's going to happen when you try mm -hmm. to be principled? They're going to turn on you because they're not. A big litmus test, too. And I want to say this to everyone who's so. watching, which, you know, we got a lot of people watching right now. I want this to be very clear. If you see someone who's afraid to tell parents to get their kids out of state schools for any reason, be very aware that that person is probably not trustworthy because they are not willing to tell people the most important thing they could possibly do to get 
their children out of the status brainwashing paradigm. The most important thing that a parent could do is to get them out of these abusive child prisons where they're literally being manipulated right. and abused into becoming good little socialists by the time they, they become adults. And even yes, if they yeah. say, Obedience oh, well, I didn't really like school, they'll still say, they'll still rationalize it. It's the worst right. thing you could possibly do to a kid, you know, for, for it's 12, signing 13 years them of up life. for abuse. It is horrific. And conditioning right. to be in a prison. So anybody who, <laughs> who is not willing to, to yeah. say that and to be unabashed about, about that, be aware they are not a friend of ours or an ally of liberty because they are cowards and they are unwilling to educate people on one of the most important things you could tell others to do that's in most people's power, at least still in America. I know someone even mentioned before that certain countries have homeschooling illegal, which is horrible, right? No. It shows you how much they want to control families and children in those places. But this is that's really one of the, the most important foundation of it. <laughs> get out there is, is getting kids yeah. out of this. That's a part of changing the whole next generation. And it's the question is whether they get out of that status matrix or not. And that's up to people living right now. And even it's yeah. again, you don't need everybody. You get 10% out. That's 5 million kids. That's huge. <laughs> 5 million kids, right? Just by getting 10% more people to say, Oh, you know what? I'm going to get my kids out of here. Think about it. It's a, it's a numbers game. The more that that goes and attrition goes, it's going to be revolutionary for Liberty. So, Oh, and that's really the core of it. I mean, people are propagandized to be status. They're, mm -hmm. they're taught mm -hmm. lies about capitalism mm -hmm. and property rights. And they say like, oh, you just can't have property rights respected. You need to give it up to a mm -hmm. small group of people because humans are corrupt. So trust these humans right. that have ultimate power over everybody within this, you know, geo geopolitical lines. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's all indoctrinated. So it's really, and where is the source? It's schools. It's when you're a kid, it's when you're the most impressionable. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a reason why the age to send your kids to go to school or forced to send your kids to school in some states uh, has gotten younger and younger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. To, to when they're more, the most, uh, their brains are the most malleable mm -hmm. and, and minds. And so again, just don't <laughs> subject your kids to that and just, mm -hmm where you can try to explain the nature of schooling to uh, your family. If they have kids, siblings, mm -hmm. cousins, you know, friends, yeah. um, try to tell them like, Hey, you know, think about their future. Think about how you want to be free to learn. You mm -hmm. know, you don't like someone breathing over you and be like, Hey, you need to do this 10 hours a week and you don't even like the subject and you have, you know, whatever, you don't find value in it. And uh, yeah. And instead of you being able to, uh, tinker in what you want. Maybe you like building things. Maybe you want to have a garden. You like to cook. Um, you like to do stock trading. You like, you know, you, there's a plethora of things that you like to grow reptilian feeder bugs that are <laughs> unique. Feet. That's funny. Oh, reptilian. I mean, <laughs> reptiles. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, like roly polies. So I'm going to clap that now and be like, oh my gosh. So it's one of the reptilians. And they're going to slow motion my eyes and they're going to be like, look at her eyes. Her eyes. It's like, Have you seen those videos? It's like if they zoom in on the eye and it's like, look at the eye. Yeah. But in all seriousness, like people no, are real gecko breeders and their breeders are different animals. And yeah, they, but know, that's self directed of, learning. That's real, like, that's real stuff. Right. Or you so, become like a gamer and you're like super or a software engineer or whatever. And you, right. you taught yourself like the right. point is like, why should you not allow your children to have that for their childhood, for their teenagehood, you know, to to basically keep them controlled until they're 18, 24 and mm -hmm. then suddenly expect them to do something wisely with their freedom mm -hmm. when they've been controlled. Mm -hmm for you know 18 24 years depend or more depending <laughs> how much school they go through like if they choose to become a doctor or something mm -hmm. um you know like it it's so backwards so it's yeah. it's really just empathizing with your children mm -hmm. you know yeah. and and starting to empathize with yourself like think about how you got to ever become a status like if you're a libertarian now mm -hmm. you probably weren't before most people are not um like you know, they, they were status first. Most people are because that's the paradigm the we, right, right. we live in and the, right. The brainwashing mm -hmm. and the social pressures are all there, mm -hmm. you know, pay your taxes. Uh, nothing more inevitable than death and dark. So right. Like, dur, dur, dur. like <laughs> <laughs> let's just sing along. We're slaves, you know, like, <laughs> like no, just stand against yeah. it. Right. It is slavery. It is also slavery. So, so,
Yeah. The All parents right. are brainwashed. We're going to sleep you off. <laughs> we, I know we tried to send off originally. Like, oh, we gotta, hey, one, that was like the one event last, today. One last. There were yeah. so many people that are like, okay, bye. And then like and then hang 15 out. minutes later, oh, we got to go. Okay, yeah. see ya. It was good though because the conversations are great. You can't help it when you're having a good time yeah. with people. And you're just having a great conversation. It's wonderful. So, all right. Good. Take care to all yeah, you. Yeah. Thank who, you so much, uh, everyone, for end. coming. That's a, quite a few coming people. Pierre Guard and JWTC. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, watching yep, our yep. beef spin. What? Well, yeah. All brain, the way brain, to the end. brain. Stay dangerous. Stay dangerous. <laughs> Thanks, Imperial Guard. <laughs> all right.